Gotcha. <laughs> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, but not today. It's not the newest, it's 30 year old games on the Jaguar, because today is exactly the 30th anniversary of the release of the Jaguar. Do the math. It's 64 Do the math. bits. It's exactly. Yeah, before the show, you won't see it on YouTube, but before the show, you saw the little end of it. Um, we played an infomercial from 1995. Trying to sell the Jaguar for what was it? Hey, you know what? 199 bucks. Did it sell when you I saw on it? With it? 199 bucks, I was like, mm, maybe I'll get that. <laughs> I was or, feeling a little regret that I couldn't get it. Or a money back guarantee. So should I try for my money back? No, I, I think I'll keep it because I paid more than that. Two hundred dollars. So I was yeah. going to say I paid, paid more than that. I think I paid a little bit more than that. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, put the sign out. Oh my god! And replace that. That's not the right one. Bloop. Jaguar today. We are going to be playing every single Jaguar release. They said four games. I was paying attention. They said four games. <laughs> four games? Okay. Yeah. Do you remember what they were? Cybermorph? Uh -huh. uh, Tempest? I can't remember the other ones. Oh, no, not 199 Oh, Canadian. it'd be no, US. No, no, no. But depends on it what was, it was. It was in, at in the time, it was about 25% more. 95? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. In 2002, 66% <laughs> more. What? Every, everything was <laughs> 1.66 times the uh, Oh, American that's price. terrible. Yeah, oh that's when God. we opened our, our store. And like... Pain. <laughs> only just a couple of years ago did the price of Settlers of Catan go get higher than it was in 2002 when we opened the store. <laughs> because the exchange rate kept going down. Because the exchange rate kept going down. And it barely went up for a long time. That's and then funny. it started to go up just as the Canadian dollar <laughs> returned to terrible times. Anyways. Uh, we're going to be playing every single Jaguar game ever released from 1993, its release date, to 1998, but not today. Uh, we will be playing... 1998? Yeah. We'll be playing them over three days. But So this is the day one of playing them, and we're going to be playing them in order of release, which starts with Cybermorph, the pack-in game. The which uh, game? The pack-in game. The, the game pack. that gets packed in the box uh, with the system. Okay. That's what they are called. I so. thought you were saying that we were going to be packing things, and I was like, <laughs> yes. Cybermorph sounds more exciting <laughs> than a packing game. Darcy will be packing things, and <laughs> I will be playing Cybermorph. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but first, I want to thank like my car today. all the subscribers. Is your car packed with stuff? It is now. I packed uh, with full stuff at the store. Uh, I want to thank uh, Eldifer, Andre Atari, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 974, Atari Age, Beef Supreme, Beer Pocock, Chelsea Donnie, Mal, Charles Quillen, Chitlala, Christina Reboot, Danavisi Drexel, Do Drifting Snow, Dr. Moo Cows, Gamma Dev, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Joe Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Gvelter, Land Express, Mark Yannis, Mark Space Hig, Mental Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, Mr. Zarnable, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Pac Rat, 1977, Koagar, 70, Random Ghost, Friendless VD, Raven, Tuli, Ricardo Pim, Rod Castle, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Spice Horse, Spinley, S. Ramirez, D Train, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD Vexor X, Vintage Game Memories, Vitoka, VVG Double Down X, Ken X, and you can subscribe as well, just like Buffalo Pinball did just before the show started. Thank you so much for that. Only the official games. Well, uh, yeah, we're doing the official released with the system, a couple released after the system. Um, I think six. I've got some stats here. Um, 63 games were released in total during the official run, not counting homebrew. Um, 13 of those were on CD. Uh, they were all released between 1993 and 1998. 
Six of them were released after the discontinuation of the console in 1996. And it breaks down this way. Four in 1993, 14 in 1994, 34 in 1995, 6 in 1996, 5 in 97, and 1 in 98. Today we're going to be playing 1993 and 1994 games. Uh, Wikipedia says that less than 150,000 units were sold. There's one of them. Um, every game we're going to be playing was released in North America and Europe. Actually, every game was released. Um, but only the first 27 were released in Japan, so it must have taken a nosedive there. They were like, no, 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 no. Um, plus the 31st game, Rayman. What? Yeah, they were one shy of 64 games. I, I realized that when I was counting them up as well. I was like, what? Oh my god, they missed it by one. If only they released one more. Yeah. Where, where, when did home... There's homebrews for it, right? Oh, yeah, lots and lots and, and lots of And when did they homebrews. start? That's a good question. Um, may, Cyrano would probably know that. When was the first homebrew jaguar game made how how long after the last official release for it on the system um yeah i always wonder that because with 2600 it was the last one was in 92 <coughs> and the first homebrew was made in 95 so only three years difference uh i saw jag homebrews in early 2000s uh, Protector. Clearly there's a mystery game out there waiting to be found. There are lots of unreleased games. Lots of games planned, games mm. being made um, that were never released. So, mm. how years many, before the first one. How many idea. of these games were Jaguar only? Ah, I do have that information. Ah. At least for today. So mm -hmm. I'll be saying which ones were exclusives okay. and which ones... A lot of exclusives to begin with. And so we'll see how it uh, progresses from there. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're just going to get into it. Hi, come say hi. Come say hi. We just started. Okay. That's Tanya's, that's Tanya's <laughs> hand. That's my hand. Yeah. Yeah, you just started? Just started. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. I'll be making dinner for myself. So okay. <laughs> Have a good dinner. Uh, so we're going to play Cybermorph first. Mm -hmm. Like I said, pack and game. This was an exclusive. Um, so let's switch it over to the Jaguar. And get this party started. Uh, we're going to be dedicating uh, 10 minutes to each game. Um, just Is like the timer going to be on the screen? Uh, it will be on the screen for them. Oh, It'll yeah. be over here. Uh, they can see it right oh, there. Yeah. Got 10 minutes. I love integrated stuff. <laughs> Boy, it's good stuff. <laughs> um, I've got a little blinky eyes. I made that animation for it as well. It's nice. Hello, Tanya's hand. It'd be really expensive to play all these games so they game drive. Yeah, I have, I have, I think one game, one one Jaguar game somewhere. So that's the game. That's the that's the game drive mm -hmm. on which all the games are contained. Yeah, it would be very expensive. There's some expensive games. Oh, oh, thank you for subscribing, Carl G. You're awesome. Uh, anybody Woo! else wants to subscribe? There's a subscribe button up top. So we're gonna be playing on this custom made. Um, Oh my god. Jaguar. This is my favorite part. The these things at yeah. the top where you can wind wind yeah. the table around. It's made by Viking Cleats. Video Games. Prototype. There you go. Cleats. Yeah, I like it too. Just wind it up. I don't need anything any um you know, straps to hold it in. Don't touch that. Don't like literally don't touch it. Because, okay, that that's very or don't turn it. Is because highly unlikely that I will <laughs> follow that advice. Not, like it's right. It's like <laughs> I'm gonna use the joystick. It's because there's. I need to fix something on here, so that this isn't completely detached. Guys, don't touch this part. Don't just, just touch don't. this part right here. That's like right below the joystick <laughs> that your hand is supposed to use. Don't touch that. Yeah, I know you're tempted. <laughs> just don't. Okay, so go down to day one. What's the joystick spinner? What is this? Oh, joystick is up and spinner is down? Yeah. So we're on joystick right now. But right now, that's not true. Right now, the spinner is in chaos mode. <laughs> it's in chaos mode. <laughs> it will cause chaos. Okay. Uh, as soon as you start uh, pressing go on Cybermorph, I'll start the starter. Which? A B. B is the... the no, not CD. 
go press A. Or C, sorry, C is up a directory. Yeah, move down to day one, because it's day one. Okay. And Cybermorph. And go. We're loading the ROM. It's okay. not instantaneous. It is not. Too so much it'll time do, loading. As soon as that A comes on the screen, you can press the B to skip. You don't just need to see that every time. Oh my God, sorry about your ears. We'll get this sorted out. Each, each game's gonna be a different volume, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Okay, where did you learn to fly? Cybermorph. So get into it, press, press B. Shoot all the things. Yep, I would pick the first destination probably. The Autobahn. Uh -huh. There's 18 pods, 15 I gotta rescue. rescue. 15 of them? The access code is 1,008. what that means? Yeah. Autobahn. Oh, uh, oh my rescue. finger was accidentally touching the buttons. Good luck. Good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> so, You're gonna need it. Shoot playing this things. game that yeah. you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, we're gonna fumble our way through this because I am a complete Jaguar noob. Oh. Um, I think the most... Where did you learn to fly? The most I've played a Jaguar before I got a Jaguar is watching my friend Kev at his house. And that's about it. Um, I have... All the Jaguar experience I've ever had was playing homebrew on the show. So you've pretty much seen 99% of my Jaguar playing time on the show. So this is going to be a learning experience for both of us. Jaguar noobs are called bobs. Yeah, I'm a complete bob on this system. So do you collect those? Yep. Yeah. That's a good you thing. The thing I've learned is you don't shoot them. Okay. Get the candy corn. Get that, get the, uh, oh, you got it, nice. I thought you were gonna do circles around it. Oh, and you get purple things too, because you've got two of them so far. Okay, Cybermorph is a shooter video game developed by Attention to Detail and published by Atari Corporation as the pack-in game for the Atari Jaguar in North America on November 23rd, 1993. So that's where we start, November 23rd, released with the system. Today is November 23rd, what a coincidence. And Europe on June, on June 1994, in June 1994. It was also distributed in Japan by Moomin Corporation as a standalone release. So people actually bought this game in Japan, which maybe that's why it failed a little bit earlier in Japan. I don't know. Is this game good or bad? We'll find out. Can't turn. Where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly? Oh, maybe I touched the, the wheel. Yes, you did. There you go. Don't touch the wheel. I try, uh, I try to be. I try to be good. But I tried so hard. I'm bad. Taking place in a galactic war, the pay, uh, player pilots uh, the morphing attack fighter Transmogriffon. That's what you're um, uh, flying in to battle against the Pernicia Empire. I love these names they make up uh, for these uh, for these games. They're like, ah, oh, we got to make up a new name nobody's ever used before. The Pernicia Empire, who have conquered planets on multiple sectors, whose regenerative robot technology become entrenched into the planets. Apparently, I ran into things too many times, and I've been banned. Did you? <laughs> You've been banned. <laughs> oh no! Banned from where? You're sinking in the water. Uh, Kefman <laughs> VVG Double Down says nobody bought this game. Was one of the best games for the system a while, too. Oh, Kev, there's Kev, the person I knew the Jaguar through. The only person I've ever known to, uh, to have a Jaguar um, back in the 90s. It was all Sega oh. and Nintendo. No! Yeah. Get that candy corn. Oh! Tight turns on the candy corn. Oh, doing figure eights on the candy corn. There we go. The player is tasked... No! no. Tapped... <laughs> Tasked with recapturing critical pods. Get those critical pods. While facing against enemies and bosses across five sectors in order to defeat the Empire. Uh, no, I touched the thing again. Did you? So press to the left or right, and then you just turn it till it works. Where there you go. You learn to fly? Young guy with a decent paying job at the time. Yeah, Kev was 
rich in gaming consoles. Kefman 2D says, I seem to recall the diehard game fan mags got high, played this, then wrote a super glowing review for it. Polygons were all the rage in 3D games at the time. Oh, you're alive again. Oh, somebody's shooting at you. Are you like right beside a thing that's shooting at you? Those turrets? Gee. Shoot it. Shoot it. Oh, that's one way. <laughs> Game over. Spinny spinnies. How much? We got four minutes. My turn. Back to the game. Back to Audubon. Use the speed of the t t Griffin <clears throat> to round up all the supply pods laying abandoned in the valley. Avoid kamikaze patrols. They ram into you when you get near them. Not when they get near you. Okay. Yeah, like it took, you know, I was having to learn to use the controls, but they uh, they do feel, it does feel 3D. It's smooth. It's know? one of them like thrust? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's so fast. What the hell? Slow down. I know. Slow down there, cowboy. And you gotta kick Why is it so fast? The ground. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so fast. I oh, know. there you it is. Thought, oh, it's just Darcy's bad at games. <laughs> I found the slow down button. There we go. What was the slow down button? The other button? Yeah, C. Oh. You just went full speed. Full speed ahead. Is that a thing I can shoot? Yes, yeah. it is. Is that a thing I can shoot? I don't know because I never learned where the slow down button was. <laughs> where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn? Oh, another one, Batty! Die! Alright, more candy corn for me. Good work. Good work. Oh. Oh, I flew too close to the sun. There we go. Let's speed up. Good work. Good work. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, there is a radar at the top, but I don't see th anything on the radar. The, the yellow arrow. Oh, is where I need to go. Okay. Is the thing. Oh, candy if you're corn close in the dark. To it, it shows up. Good. Her clunk. Oh. oh, baddies are coming now. Yeah. Oh my I god. I don't know what red means, but. Uh, oh, they do try and ram you. Trying to your leg. They are. Don't they have any. Isn't that like a huge waste of resources to just like build a ship to crash into other ships? Do you, have you heard of this fantastic <laughs> device that's called a missile? <laughs> exactly. Right. My ship seems to have it. Is this... Uh, oh my God. They do not have it on their planet? No, what I'm saying is you just described a missile. Yeah, but they're... Well, maybe they are missiles. Yeah. But they seem to be as big as my ship. What's happening, buddy? Um, which what seems like doing? a very inefficient resource. I better go get the candy corn. There it is. Candy corn. Good work. Good. Thank you. Something. Good work. Oh, how come I keep going up in the air whenever I... Am I accidentally Good pressing it? work. Oh, God. Where did you learn to fly? I, I didn't. I haven't taken any courses. So, I didn't learn to fly anywhere. Oh, where is it? There it is. Well done. Oh, well done. Pause remaining 10. 10. Oh my god. Let's see if I can finish it. One minute and 40 seconds. Oh no. Well done. Eight more. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be existence. able to. Oh, the mountain. But you only need four more of them. Oh, okay. Good. If if I read the thing correctly. Yeah. But you have to okay. rescue 15. Good. Oh, god. The kamikaze just like Your this power's would. Low. Well, Oh. oh, oh, no! One more, maybe? Uh, maybe. Oh, God, no. No, no, there's two more here somewhere. There they are. Good work. Portal now open. What'd she say? Will be one, you're my only hope. Oh, 50 seconds. Oh, I still have a Where ship. Did you learn to fly? I, I, I told you I didn't. I don't think I don't think they ha had uh, voice recognition <laughs> in this game. But is that my ship? Oh, oh, the vortex! Did I finish the world? I think so. Oh, I missed it. Like, is that my ship berating me, or some person in command control like berating me? I did it. I 
I beat the Number Autobahn. And, 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 uh, yep. Do we know if this is the one or two meg version? I be, believe she's more repetitive on the one meg. Stay on target. She said the thing. Okay. Seven seconds. Oh my gosh. There we go. Now it's on to game number two. There we go. Game number two. Trevor McFur in the Crescent Galaxy. November 23rd, 1993. Another uh, day one release. Which one? Uh, Trevor McFur. And this is also an exclusive game. Uh, this is a two meg. The other one was a one meg. So they were vo more repetitive. Good game. Wow. Just in time. Just made it. There's the eight. Woo. Whoa, you did it. Uh, Trevor, Mc... did it. Trevor McFur and the Crescent Galaxy is a 1993 horizontal scrolling shooter video game. So pretty self-explanatory. Shoot the things, collect the power-ups. Pick probably the first one. Uh-oh. Uh Oh, it is McFur. Corporal McFur. We don't have time to learn the instructions. We don't have time. Shoot we don't have things. time for story. Shoot all the things. Avoid all the other things. Shoot them all. Uh-oh. Do the pickups. Oh. oh, you got lasers. You've got... Oh, my God. you got a really good pickup. Oh, get the cat pickup. Yeah. Power up! Ten minutes of McFur, or, or until they confess. Who's Trevor that? comes first. I got a friend. Oh wow, nice. Got a little helper there. Well, that is always nice to have. He's not picking up your power up, so. Oh. oh. He's not dying in my place. Oh no. Uh, the game stars Trevor McFur, a corporal in the Interplanetary Defense Squad's Circle Reserves chapter. The Crescent Galaxy has been conquered by an entity known as Audit, whose purpose is to make... Nobody likes audits. Nobody likes uh, I think that's... Uh, you got the joke. Uh, whose purpose is to make every living being like it. Mm. Uh -oh. Like it? Like as in um, be its friend or to assimilate? Hmm. Uh, oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> Whoa! Alongside his partner Cutter, piling at a shuttlecraft, McFur must free four moons of the planet Cosmolite and defeat Audit. Defeat the Audit. Oh, you've got an Xbox surrounding you. Oh! Resistance is futile, McFur. Look, more work in, went into the paragraph than the game. Stop picking on it. Oh, I died right away. What? Oh. Are these like super power ups I only have a limited amount of? Maybe I don't know. know. I do like that. Yeah, I do have only limited amounts of those. But I just picked up another one, so. Th those are like superpowers in case I'm in trouble. Okay, that's good to know. Now I've got three of them. Pretty plentiful. Ooh, magnet. Nope, not worth it. <laughs> This game's really quiet. No! Did the magnet do that? Is it a magnet? Well, I have a magnet at the top there. Oh, did I finish the first level? Oh no, it is boss time. It is the boss time. Enemy strength. Let's use the power up. Oh, I shot a magnet at it, okay. Ah! Whoa. This, um, how do people feel about this type of graphics where it's like, it's I was not, just gonna say it reminds me of like web graphics. Like, oh my god, I played over. Like early 3D graphics where it's not pixel art. Oh, I want that cat power up. No! Cat power up. There we go. Oh, oh, that's your buddy. Oh, this is good. It's my cat buddy, I guess. I do hear cat buddies out in the hallway. This boss is pretty yeah, like tough the, for a first level boss. The technology to do like the little light, like lighting, semi-realistic lighting hotspots mm, yeah. on the text, on the uh, textures, on the models. That's. I think the first well-known 
anything uh, kind of graphics like that or like Donkey Kong Country where they scan something in and then it's that's like they scanned a real life thing in and that's what they put the graphics in the game rather than an artist drawing them out of pixels not I'm not a huge fan of that I'd rather have pixel art oh my god this enemy for first level it's brutal it just keeps going yep nice to have a power up but I died too many times come on gate bars you, left you have a cat power up oh let's use cat power up it's a good idea dodge and dodge yeah, dodge uh, and dodge dodge and he's dodge. actually stomping it Nice. Oh, yes. He's invulnerable. <laughs> so he goes right up to him. Yay! Look great in the day, but now it looks super dated. I prefer pixels or polygons. I don't prefer first-gen polygons, but I definitely prefer pixels. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, that's a pretty nice background. That's, oh, my God, I can't see what's going on. And I'm dead. Four minutes to go. Some uh, some games feel like it's over too quick. <laughs> some don't. Mm -hmm. I won't say which one's which on this. It's it's a shooter. It's okay. It's not it's not super awesome. Come on, get to it. Let's get back to it. I probably won't make it past the boss because the boss just takes so long. Oh my god, I was trapped. Um, I would say it's the worst shooter I've ever played. It's not the best shooter I've ever played. <laughs> it's It's got all the things. It's too hard. I don't know. Maybe because... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you get a continue. Yeah, I like the cat. The realistic cat heads. Those are good. There's a lot of stuff on the screen. Oh yeah, I guess the general was like a lion. So. Yeah, it's full on furry game. Full on furry game. When when were furries like recognized as like furries, not just like? I guess the internet really helped with that, so they could all find each other. Um, but this is this is a full on furry game. I mean, isn't it Trevor McFur? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, do you were you uh, aware of this system when? Uh, no. In in the mid '90s. No, I was aware of it when you told me <laughs> that we were playing during... it today. <laughs> no, 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 no. But but like from zero page homebrew uh, streaming is kind of. Like... Yeah. Oh, that was my that was my big weapon. What what oh was god. it? It just came out and killed one thing. Uh, oh my god. How many continues do I get? I guess three. Yeah, I don't think this made a huge impact. I only knew one person, like I said back then, who had it. And um, when Kev was over the other day for our uh, gaming night, he said he got rid of it pretty quick. <laughs> he didn't have it for very long. So that was my full exposure to to the Jaguar. Only 90 more seconds. Do I have the CD-ROM? No, and I'm definitely not willing to... Uh, Only up the door. Uh, lay out the cache for the CD-ROM. That is for sure. And the Jag um, GD does play CD-ROM titles. I know there's some possible issues with it, but... Um, there's no CD games today, so I'm going to investigate that for the next stream and see what... I did try and play um, Dragon's Lair, but it didn't seem to want to accept any of my input. So I don't know how compatible CD games are with the JAG CD. I know it does run them. So I do have a 
poll question, but I will have to start it after this. What is this? Can I hit him? Oh, I can go really close. Okay, that helps. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're trashing him with that thing. Use Let's the other one. Again. Look, oh, he's going down. Holy crap. And we're done. Okay, you, you next quit. game. Oh. No, we got to keep on, uh, keep on keeping on. Okay, the next you game sure have to. is Evolution Dino Dudes. Uh, my experience getting CD games to work in the game drive is mixed, stage one boss. It was released too late in the product life to make much of an impact. Ah. So this one is not an exclusive. It was their first non-exclusive. It was December 1st, 1993. It was on Amiga, Amiga CD32, Atari Falcon, Atari Jaguar, Atari Lynx, Game Boy, DOS, Sega Genesis, and Super NES. Why do I have the wrong information for this game? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. 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 Oh, I don't. It was renamed. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, it was it, on the other systems. It was called the Humans. It's a puzzle puzzle platform game developed developed by Imagitech Design in Dewsbury, England, and originally published by Mirage Technologies for the Amiga in May 1992. Later ported to other computer and consoles. The goal of the game varies per level, but usually revolves around bringing at least one of the player-controlled humans to the designated area. So lemmings, uh, marked by a colored tile. So you probably have to go down the ladder. Um, you do have a time limit here. It is wider. Is he gonna fall to his death? Yeah. Okay. So you have to use, you have to use ladders. You have to turn that guy into a guy with arms up, maybe right below the pit, and then switch to the other guy. How do you switch to the other guy? Try the other buttons. I did, and, and it doesn't switch. Try the other, try the numbers. There we go. Okay. Create caveman ladder to the right to discover the spear. Ah, oh, so you have to get the spear first. That, that didn't work. Caveman ladder to the right. Oh. So maybe you have to, oh, climb on top of that guy. Okay, but you have to get that guy yeah. over first. You have to make a ladder first of those two guys over to the left. Instructions are your friend. No time for instructions. We only have 10 minutes. We have to learn these games instantly. Oh, you can fall down. Okay. Now you can get the spear. Can you go more? Can you go get the spear? Don't know. Seven minutes now. It's kind of a crappy version of Lost Vikings. Yeah, it's more Lost Vikings than it is Lemmings. Because these guys are under your control. In Lemmings, they are not under your control. You're just trying to prevent the Lemmings from dying. I think I think we I think we we get the idea now. Get that spear. No. Try all the buttons. Other buttons. Try the number buttons. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number. Oh no. Try down. Did you try down to pick it up? We have to switch to that guy again. There, try down. There oh, we, we go. Got it. Well done. Oh, that was the goal. Oh, yeah. okay. Good, good, good. The presentation is decent. Like the graphics are decent and um, controls are fine, it seems. You got all the score. This one's super quiet. I'll turn up the volume here. Use the spears to come on down. Is there any sound in this game? Is there any music in this game? I think there's no music so now you've got a jumping guy a throwing guy you've got a bunch of things at the bottom there that they can do 
Do you use the spears to make bridges? Is that... Uh... Oh, hmm. You have to pole vault with, from the, with the spear. Oh, okay. That looks like the first animation is a pole vault, quite possibly. No. Hmm. He looks like he's making a bridge. Or maybe that one. They all do the same. All do the same? Oh. Is that the action? Is there an action button? No. One switches. Do you have to move and press the button? No. Down and press the button? Something has to be pressed and then held for maximum distance. Oh, do you have to hold it down maybe? Death. Oh, it gets resurrected. That's good. <laughs> there she's done. Okay, so let's pick up. Um... Oh, he did something. Oh, that's pole vault. Okay, so you have to press one button and then... Which button was almost. it? Almost. You have to press B first, then hold down A, which I didn't get close enough to the ledge. Not too close. And then that. There we go. What's the goal, though? To get them all across or just one guy you can fall down there oh yes get to the tomato plants so you don't need all the guys you just need one guy i don't know or maybe you need all the guys to get down there that would be so tedious i guess he can't yeah he probably can't jump up on that oh my god he needs to be a ladder okay Next guy, so tediously... Oh no, don't throw it! No! What if I die? Will you get the spear back? I think I'm dead. Because <laughs> I'm missing a spear now. Maybe he can become a bridge? Yeah, you do that. You be, you be that guy. Oh, um, no. How would I get... How would I get that? Three, four. Okay. At some point after you vault, you have to turn around and throw the spear back to the others. Okay. Jump, dude. Can you jump? How do I get those other selections? You have to have the spear. Oh, that's why. So what does that guy do? What does that do? Nothing. I don't, don't want to say what it looks like. This <laughs> Cookie, you can do it. Oh. Thank you for subscribing, Neo Media. I think we're screwed. We have to like restart the level. How do you restart the level? Well, I don't know. You have one minute to figure it out. That restarts the game. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. Let's enter the code. We don't remember it. Oh, there's the keypad configuration. Uh. What? <laughs> There's a lot of oh knowing going on in here. <laughs> <laughs> do action. Thank you for following Emilion88. Do action, select icon, toggle icon, select dude. Like, what are those? Oh, I see. It's etched in the stone. Oh. Select dude, next dude, toggle sound. Oh, we probably turned off the sound. That's why there's absolutely no sound. Hey, buddy. Do you want some coffee? Or it's just really Hi, quiet. Coffee. Your score is zero. 
discover the sphere, spear. <laughs> and this game is not for the faint of patience. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a slow and trotting game. It's slow. It's it's a puzzle game. Puzzle games are slow. You didn't make your guy stand up, so oh it can't be climbed God. because push up. Yeah. And it's over. It's over. Next game I is won't say right. How I feel about that. It uh, it's fine. fine. It's a puzzle game. What We're playing we Raiden, December first, nineteen ninety three. It's a shooter. Not much needs to be said for instructions. Good. Uh, platforms. Arcade, PC Engine, PC Engine Super CD-ROM, MS-DOS, Lynx, FM Towns, Mega Drive, Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, and Mobile. It's a very popular game. It's a 1990 vertically scrolling shooter arcade game developed by Seibu Kaihatsu and published by Temco in Japan. The game story takes place in the year 2090 when alien species known as the Crystals... Hi. Bye. Oh, bye. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> Invaded Earth. Players assume the role of the vanquished crystal defense pilot duo, taking control of two state-of-the-art fighter thunder aircrafts to defeat the crystals and save the Earth. Yay, we have sound this time. Danny, if you see, I got, uh, got Raid in for Christmas. This is, a, this is a good game. That's a bomb. We have two left. Very effective. Stage one boss says, this is one of my original Jag games that I can recall. Yeah, I think that this... plane looked like it was about to crash. He was deceiving you. Don't hit the bullets. Don't hit the bullets. Get that power up. Get the power up. Don't die. Don't die after <laughs> getting the power up. It defeats the point of getting the power up. So, dumb, dumb. let's learn a little bit about the Jaguar. It was part of the fifth generation of video game consoles, competed with the Genesis and Super NES, uh, and the 3DO, which really wasn't a competitor. Um, uh, powered by two custom 32-bit processors. Atari marketed it as the world's first 64-bit game system, emphasizing its 64-bit bus used by the Blitter. Jaguar was launched with Cybermorph as the packing game, which received divisive reviews. The system's game ultimately comprised of only 50 licensed games. Uh, what does that mean? The rest what? were unlicensed games? There were 63 of them. I don't know what that means. Weird. So, um, reception of it. Reviewing the Jaguar just a few weeks prior to its launch, GamePro gave it a thumb sideways. Uh, they praised the power of the hardware, but criticized the controller. It's, it's fine. I don't mind the original controller. I like my custom arcade stick better. Um, and were dubious of how the software lineup would turn out, commenting that Atari's failure to support secure support from key third-party publishers such as Capcom was a bad sign. They concluded, like the 3DO, the Jaguar is a risky investment, just not quite as expensive. The Jaguar won Game Fan's Best New System Award for 1993. Wonder what other systems came out in 93. You can fire a lot faster by tapping the fire button versus holding it double down, says. Ah. I kind of like the original Jag controller. It's not bad. It's it's definitely far from the worst. It's got very nice grips to it. And it's got little places for your uh, fingers. The buttons are in a good place. It's got a nice D-pad. Um, the Pro controller has um, good shoulder buttons. Uh-oh. I, I have no real qualm with that at all. Far cry from, like, the 7800, that's for sure or the breakages of the 5200 controller. It may have been sold alongside the Genesis and SNES as Double Down, but it definitely didn't compete. No. Oh, he did it! Darcy did it! Stage one! The small size and poor quality of the Jaguar's game library became the most commonly cited reason for its failure in the marketplace. The packing game Cybermorph was one of the first polygon-based games for consoles. Interesting. 
but it was criticized for design flaws and a weak color palette, and compared unfavorably to SNES's Star Fox. Un uh, other early releases, like Trevor McFur and the Crescent Galaxy, Raiden, and Evolution Dino Dudes also reserved, received poor reviews. This one received poor reviews? I mean, I don't know. Plays fine. It's a shooter. It's great. I like shooters. Maybe they, they didn't like shooters. Maybe because it came out three years after it came out in the arcade and they're expecting, like, oh, we want newer shooters, not one from three years ago. That could be it. Boo! Oh, give me my stuffs back! That is nice, where when you explode, you get all your stuff back, or some of your stuff, anyway. It's, it's fair that it gives you some of it, but not all of it. And the fact you have to collect it, too, which is dangerous. Uh, ah! Ah! Uh, oh, it said it didn't take advantage, full advantage of the Jaguar's hardware, this game. Jaguar did eventually earn praise with games such as Tempest 2000, Doom, and Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, the most successful title during Jaguar's first year was Alien vs. Predator. However, these occasional successes were seen as insufficient, while the Jaguar's competitors were receiving a continual stream of critically acclaimed software. GamePro concluded their rave reviews of Alien vs. Predator... Uh, by remarking, if Atari can turn out a dozen more games like AVP, Jaguar owners could truly rest easy and enjoy their purchase. In late 1995, reviews of Jaguar game players remarked that Jaguar suffers from several problems, most importantly, the lack of good software. Oh, the power-up ship. Oh, it went away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Ah... I must remark that Darcy is playing this considerably no, better have, than he does normally. No, it's uh, I had continues. Oh, still I've you're dodging twice. quite well. My turn. Thank you. <laughs> Mom said I could play. <laughs> oh, sure. Throw me into a boss, or at least a mid-boss. Okay, you're getting a big bomb and completely missed. Wing. Where'd he go? Over here? Nope. Oh, he is there. It's lurking. Oh my god, that's a lot. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Back here. What are you doing? back here coward but it's cool that like it goes <laughs> off screen it is that's very unusual it's like nah i'm in a place where you can't fly for some reason <laughs> <laughs> well you can but you gotta fly over there you're not no, flying like, over there that's just it no, you can that's the edge of the screen is over no, no, there you, but when you fly over it pans that way that's true i don't know if he actually leaves the screen or if you just aren't uh oh he does he at least half of them oh at least half of them is leaving the screen. Ah, uh, I can't. Uh, I can't get through. No power ups. Darcy left me with no power ups. Hey, <laughs> don't take Darcy's name in vain. I I praise the Darcy. I I, I beg for forgiveness. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm like those. You wouldn't ships. have any power ups anyways. You died. You would have lost them all. Oh, I should be using the bombs. I'm like a ship in Cybermorph where I'm just like sacrificing myself. I, okay, bomb for you. Another bomb. No, I got to died. I get another bomb. <laughs> Two bombs every death. Might as well use them. Oh, come on. Oh! Bomb for you. Another bomb. Oh, how did, what? Can you blow yourself up? Um, no, I ran into a bullet. Oh, like, he's on fire. He's on fire. Yay, he's on stage Just two teasing. of death. On stage two of death. <laughs> oh, my God, now it's harder. But he, he's not blowing up as much as you are. Oh, my God, dodge those bullets. Because those bullets are just insane. Ah! It's the maze of bullets. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> bullet for you. Oh, it gets rid of his bullets, but then he starts shooting again. Oh my god. Oh, it. Okay, he's just. Bye. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes, I want to continue. Two seconds left. Okay, that's the time. Oh, I finished the stage. Nice. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Okay, next game Force Off Balance Tate Mode. Tate Mode, sir. Uh, the next game. Darcy's decided it's Alien vs. Predator. It is not. No, I didn't actually do any of that. I'm gonna wait because I think scared. somebody touched the t spinny thing. I think it was uh, you. I don't know that that's what happened, to be honest. Tempest 2000. Next game, Dan says. Trying to mimic the original game's aspect ratio, which is good. Which one is? Uh, Tempest 2000. One of the best games on the system. Now we're going to use the spinner this time. You Am I allowed to touch it? Not yet. Don't touch it yet. Do I have to click this button to spinnerize it? Yes, when it is time. Okay. Uh, when you get to the main select game type to play, let's press again, button. Trippy. Let's see. Uh, then uh, hit the option on controller. This? That's the option that's labeled option. Um, then at the option screen, press pause button on both controllers at the same time. You ready? One, two, two three. three. There we go. Um, then you'll enable, then go down to controller type mm -hmm. and then press B. B. And which allows you to choose the rotary controller. So press to the right or up and down. Nope. Up. Um, try B. There we go. Okay, exit. And then just play Tempest 2000, because that's the one we're on. And now I use the spinner. Yes, you do. I'm touching the spinner, everyone. Everyone, I'm spinning the spinner. Darcy's touching the spinner, and he's allowed to. Woohoo! Uh, Tempest 2000 is a tube shooter video game originally developed by Lamasoft and published by Atari Corporation. This is an exclusive game. Uh, only for the Jaguar. Is that a power-up? Uh, I didn't up? see. I exploded up. I got Sh the explode up. Shoot the things and avoid the things. Collect power-ups. That's a power-up. Man 2 d says, this is my favorite Jag game. Now you can use the spinner on all games. Uh, you could. It would cause havoc. Um, uh, this one was released April 13th, 1994. It was first released in uh, blah, blah, blah. Part of the Atari Corp's 2000 series is a remake by Jeff Minter of Dave Thurer's 1981 arcade Power game, ups. Tempest. Where are they? Which used Atari QuadraScan vector color display technology. So there was no spinner released for this game. There was no spinner controller. You had to make your own if you wanted a spinner. And it was obviously buried in the menus in a secret menu. But Jeff Minter made his own spinner for the game. <laughs> but it was never an official release controller, which is. Um... Darcy keeps missing the power ups! I know. Shoot things, collect power up, shoot more things, avoid spikes. That's pretty much it. There's power up. You got it. You got an AI droid. Yeah. You got a little helper. There's power uh, up. I don't think I got it though. No. There's power yeah, particle laser. Yeah, 2000. 2,000 points, I'm guessing. Jump enabled. So that one of those buttons jumps. Jumps over things, I think. Collect power-ups. Outstanding. No spikes to avoid. Thank you very much. It is five minutes. Super Zapper Recharge. Oh, you have a Super Zapper, which kills everything on the screen as well. Oops. Spinner. Oh, it's backwards. Ah, weird. 
I guess not backwards if you take the perspective of the bottom of the spinner. <laughs> Yeah, if you look at the perspective oh, yeah, of yeah. the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are spinning around it if you were... Yeah. Yeah, it depends I on... I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's flat, it kind of feels wrong, but if you treated that like just the bottom of the circle, and you're yes. only at the bottom <laughs> of the circle. Yes, yeah. exactly. Excellent. Because this is awesome, by the way. Jump is good for when the wet flip... This red... game. Yes, yeah. this is 10 out of 10, super awesome. Yeah. No notes. Yeah, it's just cool. Great graphics, great sound, great controls with the spinner. Well, it's like the controls are what make it awesome. Is that? Oh yeah. It's just like, yeah, it's responsive and it doesn't feel like you're not having to fake it. Like you're. No, there's no lag. There's no low frame rate. There's ah. electric death yeah it's a cool concept it looks cool everything about it <clears throat> if it gets yeah i did use the supercharger because um now this one is a full circle so this makes more sense uh, i missed the power up that's right i always miss them <laughs> Ah, no! Uh-oh. Okay, eat electric death. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, so cute. He says, I don't know. I don't know about that. Neither of these cats are really holding your arms, cats. I know, but that's They'll... why you have to, you have to train them. <laughs> to just suffer. I've tried. You gotta pick them up enough. It's tricky. And some cats are very resistant and arguably incurable. <laughs> incurable. Uh, <but laughs> you cannot cure you the gotta, wildness. You gotta you what you gotta do is like You have to pick them up and then put them down when you decide to put them down, not when they demand. <gasps> oh, so mean. No, I you have to because because otherwise they're like, ah, I squirmed away. True. And if they escape, if they if they get put down, not when they're demanding it, then they know that they can get down. That's what True. I think. True, because then and they'll the, squirm immediately. And like, if you pick them up and you squeeze them and then Watch you let cat. them get away and then you pick them up and you put them down, you pick them up and you put them down, they'll realize, oh, this isn't permanent. Yes. I'm not being murdered. I thought I was being <laughs> murdered, but I'm not being murdered. But also, it might ah, not work. No! There's no guarantee it'll work. I got this game because of my love of the actual arcade game. I think this is a system seller for the for the Jaguar. I I, I bet a lot of people got the... Uh, come on, shoot them. Got this game. Uh, got a Jaguar just because of this game. And really, that's how you sell systems, is get exclusive um, games on your system. I don't even have to sell these guys. So they made a very good move in getting, um, getting this game for the system. Yay, a droid! You can shoot the things that I neglect to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Which is most of them. And you absolutely want a spinner for this game. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is so good. Yeah, uh, I, if you had used the controller to do it, I don't think I would be raving about it. So the no. fact that it didn't have a spinner <laughs> was is not, a huge, like, yeah. Not a good idea. They really should have got a spinner for it. It's almost, hey, hey, like, hey. The, it's almost like the Jaguar didn't have this game. <laughs> kind of, because yeah. Because they didn't. Because without the spinner, it's a different game. Yeah, not the way we're playing it didn't. Yeah. And it's so good with the spinner that it's crazy they didn't make one. I 
I recall getting a Jaguar for what? For the AVP. Ah, oh, this one's crazy perspective. Oh, shot me? No! Get lots of lives, though. And it's over! There we go! Very good game. That is the best one so far, 100%. Next one's Wolfenstein 3D. Well, this was released on many platforms. This was released uh, August 1st, 1994 for the Jaguar. It was released on everything. DOS, SNES, Jaguar, Acorn Archimedes, Mac OS, VR Arcade Game, 3DO, iOS, Android, Game Boy Advance, Xbox Live Arcade, PlayStation Network. Everybody knows about Wolfenstein 3D. Oh my God, who's that? That mustachioed man. Okay. Let's get into it. <laughs> that <mustache. laughs> Wait, oh. is the controller gonna work? Uh, let's get that off that, and as soon as the game starts, I'll I'll make sure. Just have to press left and right. Yep, you're good. Oh, it looks good. Very fast. Yeah, it's great. Uh-oh, German. Oh, okay, so we press uh, C to strafe. Oh, it's a loud game. Yeah, oh. this, is, this is not going to go well. <laughs> Octoon. <laughs> yeah, joystick back in joystick mode. You might wear out your console's power button playing all these different games. Maybe. We're going to play all of them. It's not as bad as the 20, when we did the 2600 marathon. We played every single classic 2600 game, and I think there was like 500 of them. That's when I wore out the power button on the 2600. Did I guess and that? No, no. I, I've never really played it. So no, it's a first person shooter. Shoot the things. You will have to shoot dogs. I'm sorry. I mean, I have played it, but I haven't, like, I don't know the rules of it. Uh, so. You get the food, you get the bullets, you shoot the Nazis, you get that uh, gold cross. There are some secret compartments, like uh, secret passages, like behind that portrait, or like press a button. No, no. Okay. Same button as the door, I think. Opening the door. That's where you came from. So you can go to that one, or the one on the right. A Jaguar can handle 63 games. 64 would have been too much. Yeah, 64 overloaded. Oh. Fill him full of lead. Ugh. 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 Oh. Wolfenstein is a first person shooter game developed by idsoft and published by Apogee Software and FormGen. Originally released May 5th, 1992. So this was two and a half years old. It's not, nah, not too bad. Uh, for DOS, inspired by the 1981 Muse Software video game Castle Wolfenstein, which I also played in my C64, uh, is the third installment really? in the Wolfenstein series. Uh, not this game. Uh, Castle Wolfenstein was a top, well, top down-ish game. Ah, uh, okay. Um, it was it was like a, a stealth game, most of it. Back There's up to forty-five table. health. It's a table. This is a great version of Wolfie. It is. It's it's super fast. It's got great graphics. There she's given up. No, no, I'm just Okay. We're we're not at half, but we're getting close to it. True. That, so. Okay, you've already been there. Dead Nazis there. Um ooh, bullets. Health. Almost back to full health. Banned in Germany. What is oh because okay. of the imagery. Sausages. Yeah, they don't like that. Oh. Yep. I remember that swastikas were illegal when I lived in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, I don't, I'm pretty sure it was just my dad told me that. I don't think it was actually something you would otherwise know. It's not like there were swastikas having to be like <laughs> confiscated or anything. And no. Well, people knew. I, I'm sure. And yeah. most people would be like, eh, yeah, yeah, it's not a good thing. Only the the Nazis would be able to turn those flags and symbols. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. This was such a good game yeah. on the PC. 
um, because it was so, so ahead of its time yeah. in terms of graphics. No, Doom was the first Exploding Barrels game. Not this. Doom, Doom is the game that taught us that barrels explode. Yep. And made us, like, question why the barrel isn't exploding. <laughs> Yay, first level, no secrets. <laughs> That's pro. I remember playing this in my 286 in a tiny window and all the rib rainbow artifacting. Darcy killed his quota of Nazis. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, I played this. I think I had a 386 at the time. I still had to window it a bit. I can't remember what 386 I had, but it wasn't like top of the line 386. Oh, guard. Maybe I'll be able to upgrade my gun. <gasps> I got a better gun. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got the uh, use my bullets quicker guy. <laughs> yep, which is good and bad. Ah, my bullets. It's good he gave me a bunch. At the same time. I think bullets are all interchangeable in this game. Yes, they are. It's the treasure room. So many crosses. All made of gold. I'm full of bullets. Yay. Your bullet's full. I know I'm missing all the secret rooms. What? Is that completely like... Oh, which way do we go? This, this way! way. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good in games when the bodies don't disappear. Yeah. And uh, you just uh, don't go where the dead are. Wait, wait! There's gotta be a secret. In there somewhere. In this room? I think this is in where... In the it's... center there. Because mm -hmm. look, there's a metal door. So try that painting. With... Huh. The Fira. There, this one. try that one. Or the other one. I don't know. Maybe there isn't one, but. Might be just a bit too small, but yeah, it looked like a secret. <laughs> dance! <laughs> dance, Nazi dance! <laughs> be nice to find one secret. Maybe it's that one. Yeah. It's always funny when you find people in secret rooms, like, what are you, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? I'm hiding. <laughs> From I'm you. I'm scared. I wasn't going <laughs> to come out. Oh, no. Now, like, I thought I went to all the rooms. I missed, I'm pretty sure I missed 286s entirely. There was a dead zone. I had a dead zone. You went from a Coco, right? And, and we had... We had a IBM clone. Oh, okay. And then at a certain point we had a 486 and it was like a higher bus speed and so it was a It was really fast. So you didn't even have, you didn't have a 286, didn't have a 386. You went right to 486. Oh, that would have been a huge upgrade. Like massive. When was 486? Oh, I had a 386 when I went to university, I think. So that's like 91. Yeah, so I didn't have... So it would have been a couple years after that. I don't know that, that we had... I don't. I think the IBM clone we had was like pre-286. Right. That's my guess. So you bought it and before... And then we got one that was like a DX50 something. It was like... 486 DX5 DX250 Yeah. Or I remember that we were all blown away by how fast it was. Well, going from was, a PC. It was a, it was a it was a time that had like double the bus speed of normal or something like that. It was Right. I don't know. I'm probably I remember No, I'm not making I'm not making up, but I might be just like misremembering what in what way it was uh, fast, but it was like it was a times oh. two instead of a times four, but it got right. that speed at the times two that I'm it would lost. normally take time oh. for. No, I don't even remember oh, the. No. Uh, I can't remember how that worked. Yeah, that's because I had I'm a saying, DX4 so really 100 remember. at one point, and I was like, "Well, the speed is actually 25, but you like." Yeah, this the, that's what it is. This was a DX50. Yes. Not a DX25. 
It, and so it didn't have, it wasn't 25, it was 50. Okay. And so it was really fast. Yes. Because it's, it's like it for a speed or whatever. It wasn't a fake 50. It wasn't a fake 50, it was a real 50. Yeah. I'm lost. Yeah. And that was, uh, that was the return. That was my, my dad bought that computer. And then it wasn't until. Two seconds. Then there was another dead zone, computer dead zone for me, where I couldn't afford computer. <laughs> and you had no computer at one point. I, that's for a what while. I mean. That's un until like crazy. Until the internet existed, and I knew only of it <laughs> from what people talked about it on the radio. Brutal sports football. And I was just like, <laughs> I, like I, I was like, I missed the beginning of internet. DX it was like ninety-five indicates it had a math coprocessor. Oh, which probably ran at half the. speed. Speed. The base motherboard ran at 25, but the CPU was doubled. Oh, so the CPU ran faster, but the motherboard speed was only 25. Okay. Brutal Sports Football. This was on Amiga, MS-DOS, Amiga, CD32, and Jaguar. We should probably play two-player on this, because I think that would be more fun. It's a two-player game. Tiov, Tiov, Tech, T-E-Q-U-E. London, originally published by Millennium for uh, Amiga. First entry in the Brutal Sports series, the game is a fictional style of football played against human or computer opponents. Features a different take on American football by emphasizing the violent aspect of the sport. So there really is no like crazy gameplay in this. You just attack each other. I do have, I did print out the moves for this one because I knew this was going to be. Is this one? Yes. So we want to play two-player, not password. Was there a two-player? League. Let's go for unfriendly. Team one. This will be yours. This really needs the manual devil sound system. I've got some of the manual here. Now do I get to pick? No. Beginner. Intermediate. Advanced? Probably not. Probably want to pick beginner. Maybe we'll just play one player. <laughs> Novice. There you go. Automatic. That's what you want. Oh, there. I do get. I'll play Rhinos. Let's get this going. Novice, yes. Hi, kitty. Uh, we'll do three just to make sure we fill up the time. I think it no maybe one I think it was seven minutes okay so when we stab the dude and take the ball yes so there's a bunch of power-ups I okay I am player what am I player two buttons are when you're in possession B to pass the ball hold down C to kick the ball when not in possession B and C punch an opponent or launch a flying tackle. So A is not really used. Stand over an opponent, press B and C to stomp on him. Press C button to make a flying catch. So which way am I going? Where, where did we start? Oh, I passed to you. Yeah, uh, that's how we play. <laughs> I'm just gonna run for it. There's a weapon. Do I get to pick it? Nope. Now do I just... No, oh, that's not the right way, apparently. My guy, there's a goalie. Oh my god, you stabbed me. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. There's nobody to pass to. And throw it in. No. Oh, I got hurt. Oh, you ran. You're like gone. You're like off the field. Where's the ball? There's the ball. Do I got it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's pass it. Let's let's throw it down. Pick it up. There we go. Do I just run it in? I guess. Let's try that. Because I didn't seem to be able to. Yeah, there, you got you got to go in the in. center thing. That's where I missed. It's yeah. It is more like rugby than anything else. Because it's like you just keep going. There is no whistles. Yes. Good pass to me. Oh, oh, throw to me. No, throw. Where's my guys? Hey, wake up. Oh, God. Oh, I actually made a pass. Get it, get it. Dude, where? Oh, my God. 
The football, oh, it's open, it's wide open. Football goes off the screen. Like you can't even see where it is. Yeah, that's where I, that's where I was, yeah. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, the the whole I control the whole team uh, games. Yeah, I've never <laughs> never even come close to uh, getting the grip on that. Yeah, because you really only control one at a time. Oh, I tried to dive for you, but it did not work. Oh, the ball is free. No, oh, no, he stabbed me. No. Uh Vikings get a point. Ball is, oh, where's the ball? There it is, run for it. Stab, oh yeah, stabbed. Oh. Stab, yes. Pass, nope, nope, don't run away from it. Get the ball. Oh, I passed it to one of my guys that was in the goal. I love the telegame sponsors logos on the board. Brutal Cola. I never play Kill Ball without having my Brutal Cola. I have no people on the screen. Wakey, wakey, wakey. Stab. Oh, stab. Pass it. No, don't throw it in the goal. There we go. Up the field to no one, and I run and miss it. Part of the problem is that my guy, I don't... <gasps> no, no, no! Uh, I keep pressing the button. To, I, I go to stab you, and then I throw it. <laughs> well, don't stab me when you have the ball. Stab me when I have the ball. Throw it. No, no, throw it. No, 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 no. No, there's nobody in goal. And it is more like a goal than anything else. It's not like football. <laughs> yeah, it's a goal, but there's no goalie. <laughs> That's right. No, Darsh, get the hang of it now. I'd call it that. But I don't even know what the score. Don't even know what the score is. There's like different colored bars at the top, but I'm not sure what they're all about. Oh, and I tripped on the grass. And like I jumped the wrong way. <laughs> and then, oh no! No! Oh, stabbed. Tackle! No! So there's like a two and a 38. <laughs> it's not changing. Who has the two? Oh, Who has there's the a five. I think it's oh, five. Oh, there it is. Now there's the score. I didn't even see it on the bottom. That makes more sense. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Axe to the head. Oh, no. I see where the what the is. hell? Like, I. Whoa! What? That was a big. Throw, kick, something. No, get up. No, get up. No. Oh, missed. Is that in the air? Oh, yeah, it is. No! Stab! No, I missed! What the hell? Why wasn't I going? Maybe... Oh, no, no! Get in there! Get in. No, not there! No! What's happening? Why am I not moving? Maybe because you moved the little... There must be some, like, rule I'm not aware of. No. There. Now you're moving. <gasps> oh, that was a big jump. Just did that on its own. Oh, 
need to pass. I need to pass. Damn it! Darcy's winning. 17 seconds. 6 to 3 for Darcy. <laughs> this is not a bad game. This is pretty good. If I'm going to play a sports game, I'd rather play like a, a fake sports game with lots of action. Okay, get it, get it. Ah, oh, not going to make it. Zero seconds. <laughs> Darcy wins. Like, I can see fans of sports sports games really liking actual um, recreations. Uh, Alien versus Predator. Harold it is. I choose what Alien if... versus Predator. <laughs> is a night this is an exclusive game. Never on any other system. Uh -huh. 1994 first person shooter developed by Rebellion Developments, published by Atari. It was also distributed in Japan by blah 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 blah. Taking place in a simulation depicting the fall of Gog Golgotha training base camp. Uh, the game offers three playable scenarios. Alien Predator. I'm going to go see what that is. You start Alien vs. Predator. So, it was just me and Sprite. What trouble would we get into? Let's press this button and see, buddy. What do you think? Am I going to have to do all the talking? He's just all charm. We're going to select a character now. It's going to be fun. Oh, I'm going to... What did you pick? Alien, predator, human? Human. Human. I'm a private. Weak humans. My offense was striking an officer. When in the Aliens movie, trust the cat. Always trust the cat. The player is presented with a series of interconnected sub-levels and ships to progress through. Each character has different objectives, abilities, weapons, and disadvantages. It's very quiet. Is there like no sound? Just no music. Just no music. It's like quiet. Very quiet. Uh, I think they're hammering something next door. Marine. There we go. It's just a really quiet ship. It's atmospheric. Each character has different objectives, abilities, weapons, and disadvantages. Your disadvantage as a uh, marine is weak skin. Weak skin. <laughs> as opposed to the uh, exoskeleton of the aliens and the advanced technology of the um, predators. I always like the lore of the predators. They just go from planet to planet uh, on hunting trips. Yeah. Like they're just having fun. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> and and they like they raise aliens and like let them loose and hunt them. It's so funny. Like reading the comics. Um, I've seen it described as a stealth shooter, not the usual run and blast shooter. Well, that makes more sense because it's dangerous. Open door. Can you Can open you the do door? That? I don't know. There you oh, go. Apparently. All right. Well, this just uh, changes everything for me. It doesn't. I have the power to open doors. <laughs> no can... one can stop me now. Good stuff. No enemies so far. Just a dead crewmates. For the best, the game would be over already. <laughs> Bunch of dead crewmates. Uh, you don't seem to have a radar like in um, in the movie. Which is, uh, like makes over... me nervous, just yeah. for the record. Very nervous. Ten meters. Five meters. They're in the room, man. Can pick up the motion tracking later. Ah. So uh, you're on your own with your 
Oh, was that a door? Different type of door? Yeah, well, there was a door with an alien behind it. Oh, there was? Oh. I was like, well, I'm not opening that. Also, I couldn't get up to the door, and I thought that maybe I wasn't supposed to be able to go there. But I think I was just too close to the wall. <laughs> This came with three overlays for each character. Oh, like controller overlays. Right. I think they're hanging pictures over <laughs> next door. Some, some low action happening here. Let's get some... Which button is the door? Uh, A is door. Okay. And I think B is shooting. I bet it is. That's usually the primary button in these games. Yeah, that's the door. Ah. There's an alien behind it. Okay, alien. You Let's do close. this. It's the one door I can't open. No, B A is the door. Oh, A. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't go there. What oh, I maybe? have to go there. Well, it's acid. I know. Uh, can I get? I can kind of sneak. I don't think you buy can. It. I think it's a square. Run! Ah! <laughs> no, it wasn't. I think you're ah! in the square, or my you're feet. not in the square. My feet are on fire. Yeah, I think you're right. My feet. My feet. <laughs> my feet are on fire. They are burning. Now you're gonna burn yourself again. Fine. Yep, because it's okay, it's a square. It is. You just get burned. Ah! Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes burning happens. Where's my health? Just an energy bar. Okay, well, we're going to do the maze thing and kind of follow the wall then, because that was a dead end. Seems I'm the last Marine alive here. Everybody else is lying on the floor, being lazy. Well, they're opening all these doors. Okay, okay. Let's get the doors stay open. Then I will not go through them. You can't even tell if there was a door. Yeah. Yeah. Yipper, oh. dipper, skipper, do. Keep following the left hand wall. That could be. Yep. It's another door. Ah! Sorry, cat. Cat jumped. I scared the cat. Oh, there's two of them. At least he's not killed in the doorway. Okay, I can get by these guys. Yay. Or... No. I can you, go around. Yeah. I think that's the square right in front of the door. It's your oh. favorite tactic. No, I don't think it is. It might be. Oh. Nope. I snuck by it. A fancy. What are you guys eating in here? What is this stuff? Nothing. It's a crate. There's no bullets. What are we transporting here anyway? Oh, do you have to smash the thing to get the bullets, maybe? Wait, no. Nope. Uh, that was Doom. We're blowing up. <laughs> Smash it. With the thing. <laughs> More See what the co computer terminal has to say. Ah, I got some pulse rifle rounds. Good. Hey, computer terminal. What do you got to say? Oh. Well, I wasn't proposing, but... <laughs> ah, <laughs> level schematic. Oh, uh, where are we, though? This does e? not. No. This doesn't help if I don't know where I am. Okay. Well. Okay. I go back to level schematic. Okay. Okay. So uh, briefing room, brig, airlock, elevator, o air, kitchen, meeting room. So like. What are we? Briefing in? room. Maybe you're in number four with the computers. Four. Oh yeah, could be. Uh, it doesn't really help me. No. General log. I don't. Go read it. You can, obviously, you read say. the general log. Uh, private offense. He was very if he was so four. superior, how did he let me hit him? Uh, 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 he was not that superior. Computer engaged. Oh! Oh. Okay, it was a loop. I did not know that those were doors, and I did not try them. Ah, well, they are kind of 
Oops. Gotta save those bullets. I do. Those cryo. Can I just go in the cryo and sleep? Go back to this sleep. off. <laughs> well, you only Wait have 13 the, seconds, so. Wait till the aliens die off. <laughs> they can survive in space. It's gonna be. Lots of bugs live like so long without food. It would take a long time to wait them out. <laughs> it's uh pretty good. That's a pretty good game. Yep. Oh, very impressive. Next one is November twenty eighth. The first time I played it too. November twenty eighth, nineteen ninety four. Checkered flag is a racing video game. This is what an is exclusive. It? Checkered flag okay. developed by Rebellion Developments. A uh, conversion of a 1991 Atari Lynx game, Checkered Flag. Is it really exclusive then? If it's a remake of a game that's already out? It's an exclusive remake. <laughs> I guess because it's made by Atari. I don't know if that's exclusive. Because you could pick up a Lynx and play it. But if exclusive it's like to a completely... Atari. But that's like saying, oh, is Borderlands 2 really an exclusive if you can have Borderlands 1? Like, is it... Well, it's, if it's the exact same game... If it's the exact same game, then I agree with you. Yeah. But is it a port, or is it like... Conversion, it says. Version? Which implies it's exactly the same. Okay. Uh, in the game, the player controls a Formula One car, competing against computer-controlled opponents, and races across multiple locations. Gameplay consists of three modes. And the player can choose various weather conditions and customize the vehicle's characteristics. Ooh, it's full 3D. My. I remember playing um, full 3D games on the PC. Hey, gas. What's happening? Gas. Press the gas. You gotta press gas? <laughs> gas How to go. How was I going forward before? I don't know. Was guess... it just cars running into me from behind? <laughs> Could have been. Because I was... <laughs> Could have been. That, that's funny. I was like, oh, it's so slow. It's like, oh, Darcy's not moving. I like how tough my car is. It is, it is like, can you bank up the mountain? Like, drive on the side of the mountain if you go fast enough? Oh, oh, oh. Game that looks like what, Sega's what awesome version. What is happening? <laughs> Why, when I turn to the right, does it go left? Oh, that is weird. Here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going, it's is going it to the right the no matter what. Maybe. Is the wheel? Yes, it was. Oh, okay. I'm not as dumb as I thought. Well, I'm a little dumb <laughs> for not having but not as... the wheel immediately, but... But... Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not your fault at all. This time. <laughs> Generally, when I blame Darcy or Tanya on the show, it's not really their fault. I just like blaming them. Mm. Like, I blame the cats. <laughs> but... Darcy and Tanya don't put up with it. <laughs> like, it's not my fault, they say, and then I take control, and I'm like, oh, you're right. <laughs> it is the controls. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty good for uh, first-gen 3D. Frame rate's a little low. Like, like there would have been better if it was... Because this looks like 20 frames a second. It's definitely not 60. Let's go in the pit. No, I missed it. I probably don't need gas anyway. I don't see a gas meter. This car has enough gas for the whole race. I'm actually <laughs> catching up, I think. Even though I'm... Oh, no. They're catching That's up. A catch oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to be... I'd be very disappointed in the computer <laughs> be if it was not catching up. Oops. If it was not going to laugh at this point. Because like, there was a lot of... Hugging the uh, <laughs> oh, they passed the hills. me. <laughs> the fact that they passed me is means I'm not even playing well at all, because I should be at least gaining on them, but I am not. I'm hitting the side a lot. It's because I'm probably not easing off the gas whatsoever when I take a turn. I should learn to gear down. There we go. Gearing down on the turn. I actually did something. Look, I almost didn't hit. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> oh. 
No! Whoa! Whoa! You're not chewing the cable, are you? Watch that cat. I can't watch him. He's playing with the cable. Gear five. That's much too fast. Whoa! I went behind the signs. Gee. We were talking about. Um, oh, is it over? No, I'm just stopped. Frame rate versus screen size. The other day, and. Um, the trade-off, whether it's worth it. Like this is full screen, mm -hmm. um, but the frame rate's like 20 frames a second instead of 60. Mm -hmm. um, is it is it worth the trade-off? Like early, it's like Wolfenstein 3D. You can make the screen viewport smaller mm -hmm. to speed up the game. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I guess it really depends on the game, whether it's a good trade-off to... Oh, they're going to lap me again. Oh, they're going to do it if they... He's eight. He's well beyond the years of... He's already better than he was before. I pick <laughs> him up and he's all like, okay, I will accept some love. <laughs> what I do with the cats, to allow them to um, let me pick them up, is I give them a tour of the room. Obviously, it's oh, not possible. Oh, you distract possible. them. Yeah, it's very, that is very, very good tactic. Yes. And they completely forget that they're in my arms. Freddy was, I think, um, Pixel was like this, too. Yes. He grabbed my butt. And oh, yeah. He, you were just an extension of him when, when there was a fly to eat. And he would You're steer fine. you. He would steer <laughs> you, too. It would be like, okay, he would lean to the left or right or mm -hmm. forward or back. Oh, he was trying to pass me again. It was just, like, astounding how willing they were to participate, to, like, work with you to get the fly. Oh, yes. <laughs> They're like, okay, human, I will accept your cooperation this time. Let's go in the pit. Does it help me? Or is it just like, no. It's just for fun. <laughs> it's just for funsies, and it's not the straightaway, so actually is not the best thing to do. I should accidentally end up there. So they've lapped me twice now. I'm Which means that uh, there's uh, <sighs> more than uh, 10 laps. Oh, they could be a lap 10? Uh, sorry, there are 10, at least 10. At least 10, yeah. No, because you because they're on 10, yes. which means there would be more than 10 because uh, they're still going at it. So they're f fighting for 11 right now. No, they could end on 10. So like they're just I'm driving for the fun of it? No, no, no. But what I'm saying is you're on 8, so they're on 10. Yes, they're 10th lap. But lap 8 doesn't there mean you're go. doing lap 8. It means that you're... Ooh, because it would eight. say 1 on lap 1, ten, 8 on lap 8, 10 So when on you finish lap, lap 1, does it say 2? It would. Yeah, oh, you're okay. on lap 2. Oh, Race okay. winner, that's not me. We still have a minute. So try some different environmental. Oh, that was just terrible. Uh, no, change it from sun to something Ow. else. Left and right, up to weather. Fog, yeah. Make it even. Make it even. Oh, laps go down to two. There. Change the track. Oh, no, that's okay. Like... Ooh, foggy. It actually works. Which button drives? Uh, A is fast and B is slow down. Oh, it is chunkier with the fog, which is to be expected. You're staying ahead of them? Well, they actually give you the advantage. Some of these games, they put you right in the back of the pack and you're like, no, my God, I'll never catch up. Oh, oh, you're still not last. Fifth position. Oh, no. <laughs> I have to fight my way out of this. The frame rate. The frame rate. Oh, 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 oh. Fighting with my tires. I patched the steering on this to make it less jank. <laughs> it's only 99% jank with the steering patch. <laughs> the steering is a bit. Oh my god. I'm not last. 
The steering is a bit is a bit much. I mean, it's very responsive, which is good and bad. You just have to get used to it. You have to feather it. You have to press, 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 press. No. Oh, yeah, those signs don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> which is good. They're just. I'm signs. in last place. I don't want to be in. La oh, now I'm solidly in last place, and it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next one is uh, another driving game, Club Drive. That's unusual that they would release two driving games in a row. Uh, November 8th, 1994, another exclusive game. Last one is exclusive as well. Exclusive to the Lynx and the Jaguar. <laughs> 1994 Racing Simulation uh, by Atari. The premise takes place in 2098 at the Club Drive Amusement Park, where driving became legalized after being deemed illegal for safety reasons years prior due to the invention of indestructible vehicles, which allowed the ban to be lifted. Collect the power balls. It's mid nineties rap uh, beat. <laughs> they released zero driving games in a row. Zero driving. You don't consider these driving games. Um, gameplay consists of three modes for one or two players, each with their own adjustable rule set. Oh, you're you're a miniature. Are you, are you a tiny car? Oh, there's the map down the bottom. Go get the go get the flashy thing. Yeah, but I touched the thingy, so I had to like recover. Oh, from okay. Thingy touching. Under you're not map. allowed to touch your thingy. Don't touch the thingy. Don't touch game Especially not on stream. <laughs> so we'll get we'll get kicked off we'll get banned gotta go oh no oh, wrong way no the flashy things the flashy things the other way oh it's got like pictures oh you fell off i am not trying to win but it is an indestructible car so just trying this is like the hot wheels game yeah that's cool it's you're a miniature everything is flat shaded flat shaded everything <laughs> Except for the photos in the window there. Keep going straight, 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 left. No, the other way, the other left. No. Under the bed. No. Oh, there's the ramp. I think I saw something that you need to collect. You're, I don't know where you are now. I'm going where you said, over here. It's, yeah, oh, it's like right beside you somewhere. I think you're on top of the thing. I think you went up a ramp. No, where is it? Maybe it's on top. Oh, maybe you were supposed to go up the oh, ramp. Oh, there it is. I saw something. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> where is it? It's right beside us. So you're doing circles around it. Just out of field. There it is. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. There it is. It's the Powerball. You have the winning numbers. That's one Powerball. Okay, there you go. Okay, that is back up. That's accelerate. Okay, we got it. Now, if I could only get out of flatland. No, that's not accelerate. That is accelerate. It's good they have the arrow of which way your car's. Oh my god, this this game is nightmarish. Oh, there it is. It's like playing a game on the 2600. It's like, there's your horizon, you're flying a plane. Like, you can't, there's a vertical line. <laughs> graphics are brutal to yeah. try and navigate what the hell is happening. Like, what is, what am I looking at? Am I on an incline? Am yeah, I on the uh, wall? I think you're seeing through the texture. Am I looking at the floor? A you wall? You your way into the pool. This is, this is, Am I in a corner? There. This is okay. What, wow, though that wall color is the same as that wall color, and I couldn't see that I was going around a wall till another color came on the screen. Okay. Oh, there's the last one. Is it the last one? Okay. okay. So get to level two. Maybe it's a better. 
Oh, oh no, it's not the last one. It's that they only show up one at a time. That explains why oh. I didn't see the ones that I saw. Then the leprechaun says, All right. All right. All right. Oh, there it is. Oh, good. It's on the floor again. Here comes the leprechaun. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, is that, is that in, the, in wall? the wall? Is it like so close to the wall? You can back up. Do you want to back up? Yep. Yeah, it's on the other side. Uh, okay. I I mean, for concept, I would rate this very high. For execution, no. It is very hard to navigate. Turn right, right, all the all the way. In the corner. Just doesn't have enough like All textures right. to make it work. Thank you for following, cleaning lady. Guess you're done your cleaning. Done your cleaning for now. Time to relax. Watch some Twitch. Oh, did I like? What the hell just happened? Did I smack into the wall and go backwards? Okay, it's through here. And it's and turn through right. here. And right. And it's under. Oh, it's behind that bat paper basket. There. And you get used right to it. Toilet. But it's not. All right. All right. All right. Like in 1994, would this be like. Oh, the toilet flushed. <laughs> would this be like cool and cutting edge. I think they're overly ambitious with the graphics here. Right. And yeah, it really is the graphics. Yeah, that is the problem. The, the like play is fine. Play is absolutely fine. The steering, the accelerating, everything's good. It's just you can't you just can't tell what's Where going on at some points when you're too close to the walls. I think you're very close. I just realized there's a bar that goes up when you collect those things. Oh, yeah. I bet it's just nine, uh, ten of them. So I'm at nine now. Come on. There we go. It's behind the toilet again. Come on. Got to find better hiding places. Woo! Woo! Hard, hard driving was the best. <laughs> Um, yeah, club drive is not. I don't think our time got us uh, a top score. ZPH! Oh, we still have two minutes. It's one of those games where it's like, oh, we have more time. ZPA, close enough. See, those graphics are good. <laughs> but they're just pictures. Ah, we're at the beach. Oh, what? Uh... Oh, God. What did I do? Oh, let's go there. The Old West. Start. Go down. Collect Oh, my the God. Power. You're running out of time. One minute, 46 seconds. Oh, oh. More open. Oh, there this it might is. be better. This might be better. We'll see. It's not more open. Well, it's got a sky texture, which helps a lot. And it's not just flat. Yeah. I think that might be a bit better. It's it's let's actually see. decidedly less open, though. When you, When you factor in how small this road is compared to the... Well, this is much easier because they're all like in a, in a yeah, row. I don't we're going to hide. Uh, See, yeah. That one's behind Another. the row of buildings. Yep, behind the facades. Oh, the steering on this car <laughs> is so wide. It's so brutal. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is definitely an easier uh, track. Let's go around this way. So I'm already facing that way, and backing up is not the easiest. Oh, turn radius is very bad. Come on, accelerate.
Now this one's too easy. Let me actually finish it in time. One more. Oh, wrong way. Can I get it before say. the time? Oh, you got it just, just on in the time. time. <laughs> game over. Six minutes, 42 No, no, seconds. you're wasting the next game's time. <laughs> you, you've got time to finish it. You didn't get time to celebrate. No time to celebrate. It's time for a Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. November 28th, 1994. Uh, platforms, Jaguar, Game Gear, Master System, Sega Genesis, Super NES. Two meg. Bruce Lee Story is a fighting video game. Good luck to us. And developed and originally published by Virgin Interactive. It's based on a 1993 film of the same name, which semi-fictionalized account of the life of Hong Kong American actor and martial art Bruce artist Bruce Lee. Following the events of the movie, players take control of Bruce Lee across several stages and takes place in different time periods of his life and fight against some of his adversaries. Lantern Festival, 1961. 1961. Is it going to be... Oh, it's a one-on-one -on -one fighter. Mash those buttons. Mash those buttons. Now, is this a three-button game? Or is this is this before the um, six-button controller came out? So, so let's see what it says about... I think this guy should be more of a victim. The guy you're fighting? Yeah. He's like reacting to what I do a lot better than I feel he should. <laughs> Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. 8-bit Bruce Lee for the C64 was way better than this game. Bruce Lee for the C64 is one of my favorite games. It is so good. Array for fighting. Dragon is definitely a video game. Stage 1 boss says. I mean, the, the characters... Look fine. I mean, he, he, like I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed kicked. to do. Uh, it's not clear. Oh, to that me. looked like a good move. Yeah, I know, but it never is. That was a good move. You actually got a hit on him. I know, but like when I do stuff, he just hits me, and I don't hit him. Oh, he's got a chain. Unfair. Oh, oh, you're almost dead. I, I, I think part of the problem is I'm having difficulty suspending disbelief that this Yahoo could beat Bruce Lee. <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a game if uh, you could beat every person in the game. Yeah, well, maybe it should be uh, everybody fights Bruce Lee dizzy. and he kicks the crap out of them. <laughs> and then you'd be like, of course I can't beat Bruce Lee. That would be but it's satisfying. not. It's some chump versus Bruce Lee. Like, there's just... There's, yeah, he's supposed to be the guy who wins. He is, yes. And look at the CPU. Hardly touched him. I know, that's surprising. He was very <laughs> playing very defensively. Yeah, the presentation is fine. The graphics are fine. We'll, we'll see how the controls are. Oh, my God. So that's kick. Oh, my God. So is up, jump. Wake up. Wake up, Bruce. Up is jump. Okay. What's the third button? special special button yeah it should be a beat em up with bruce lee versus 100 dudes yeah yes so you're a not doing any better than me and i am surprised you're doing worse than me in fact He's, i haven't got like you, I, I you have hardly hit him, touched him and you're half, him. almost half dead like that that's hit him I mean. but it didn't even do anything to i know him. like that's what i'm not uh, i didn't understand what it was i was doing wrong i was like i could see losing but like i seem to be doing nothing <laughs> it's it's this is a tough first guy. Yeah. Wake up, Bruce. Oh, that is special move. Let's try some special moves then. He's very good at defending. Like he can block. He seems to be able to block like every move. that move that was good I jump in the air and then oh uh, i think i did worse than you 
It's not easy. It's a not easy game. That that opponent is very hard. Mm -hmm. Two defeats. Oh, it's best out of three. Nope. It just cleared the screen very slowly. And... Yeah. Scratch. Scratch. It's jumping cat move. See, I hit him like a bunch of times and it's like one pixel. Mm -hmm. Wow. Someone said enemies just have so much hit points in this. They really do. Like, I'm hitting them and it's barely doing anything. But is there like a power up? Because you have two bars. Yeah. Is there something you can do that's like, that ah! Must, that must be it. <laughs> <laughs> like a super move. Or like, <laughs> whatever that uh, one. One inch punch. One inch punch, yeah. So far that meter has gone up a pixel. Or did it start as a pixel? <gasps> did I get him? No. Oh, no, you, you're actually doing real, you're actually winning right now. I'm going to do fly. What did you do? Because uh, you're actually like slightly ahead of him now. I'm going to try one move over and over again. Nope. See if he can defend against this. Flying kicks. Come on. No, you come to me. <sighs> no, I'm not winning. Oh, no. Oh. Whatever you did there did like actual damage to him. It was a high kick. Okay. But what he did to the actual damage to you. <laughs> He's just really good at defending and has tons of hit. That's points. what I was saying. That like I I like. He's not a he good. He seems first. to react too well. Like if I did a jump, he was like jumping a counter jump. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. Way too hard for a first guy in a game. He was probably blocking. Okay, well, how do you block? Uh, we could try that. Nothing is blocking. It must be when he... Because he's blocking there. You saw him. He was like... Oh, yeah. He's blocking, but... But how do you block? Might be just back. Hold back. No. It's not holding back. Oh, that would have been a good move. If it connected. Did better than last time. It's not even blocking that. It doesn't hurt him. The thing that's weird is, a is that, like, the graphics are good. Yeah. And the, the way that you move is good. It's just that yeah. it's, like, it just doesn't feel like you're doing anything. No, it, it's un, it's unsatisfying <laughs> when you hit. Yeah. And you don't hit very much. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Don't beckon me. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. No, I'm not even on the screen. <laughs> He should be celebrating. Where's this celebrating move? Oh, really? Really? I died three times and now you give me this guy? Oh, I'm actually hitting him. What the hell? It, what's weird is you started with almost no hit points. Yeah. But he's so slow to react. He's much easier. But I wanted full hit points. Maybe I had a chance at winning. Oh, my hit points. But as a percentage, you still have like 25% of your hit points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zero now. No, do I get to fight him again? Come on. That guy was actually somebody I could hit. Look, I got almost down to half. <gasps> no. No more things to break. Oh, no. Uh, go in the options and see what... Uh... Yeah. Let's see. Oh, Bill, Dan, Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's on hard. Normal no. difficulty. Let's do easy. Uh, uh, turbo is fine. That means it's faster. Because we only have a minute left. Okay. Let's try this on easy. Oh, I hit him at the first... Wow. Block is joystick away from opponent. Low block is joystick down away from opponent. Okay. Apparently normal is very hard. Well, not if you're good at the game, I guess. But I'm not. I wonder why he doesn't take advantage of me when I'm, like, dizzy. He didn't do that on normal, either. Oh, I'm still not doing great. Could be a boxing, like, a match thing where it's, like... Could be. Where he's playing fair. Oh, I gotta watch out for that. Am I getting? I'm barely getting him. Like, those moves are not really doing anything. 
Oh, there he took advantage of it. Wakey, wakey. Whoa, jumped right into it. Oh, he blocked it. Yeah, got him! Ah, nope, let's try that jump kick. I really like it. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> not, not, not great. Not... A gentleman doesn't fight with a chain. Especially when the other person... Gen <laughs> gentleman doesn't have a chain. Uh, Doom is the next one. Doom! Not an exclusive. This was on everything. Like, yeah. everything. Calculators. Everything. Doom's on everything. <laughs> uh, we know all about Doom. First-person shooter developed and published by uh, id Soft. I can't play first-person shooters without knowing how to strafe. It's very important. Strafe Even is... though, like, like, I know it's this button, but that's not enough. My hands need to know how to strafe. <laughs> like, memorized. The game also on fridges. <laughs> fridges. It's on cats. Difficulty hurt me plenty. Not too rough. I'm a wimp. Oh, whatever. We're, we gotta... <laughs> hurt me plenty, sure. Uh, that's the hardest. That's one of the hardest. What, well, hurt me plenty? Yeah. That's what it started at. Oh. Hmm. Oh, go for it. So, learn your strafe. This is not the updated Doom. We did a Doom special um, where we did the world premiere of uh, of the new Doom that's been updated uh, with new graphics and everything. Um, so this is the original Doom. I don't know if Cyrano J is still in here. He is partly responsible for the new Doom. Hi, Kat. What is that? Oh. Go up the a stairs. There's things. There's a little bit more health there. Bonus health. Hi. Hi. Come here. Um, the player assumes the role of a space marine again, later unofficially referred to as Doom Guy. <laughs> Imaginative. Fighting through hordes of undead humans and invading demons, the game begins on the moons of Mars and finishes in hell, with the player traversing each level to find its exit or defeat its final boss. In its early it is an early example of 3D graphics in video games, and has enemies and objects as 2D images, as a technique sometimes referred to as 2.5D graphics. Can you jump? No. I was more used to Silent Doom on Jag than other versions. Yeah, it's this this game is missing a lot, which we went over in the the new Doom version, whose whose name escapes me at the moment. Doom, Doom. I, I don't, how do we get out? Uh, through the passageway. It's down there. And then to the right. Not there. Straight. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. It is there, left, past that barrel. Uh, I know. Gray on gray. A little hard to tell. You know your strafe? Sort of, yeah. Okay. Those pixels are your enemies. Dead Get pixels. Them. What have I done? Slayer Edition. Yes, thank you. Yeah, much improved Slayer Edition with all the weapons, all the enemies, all the music, all the good stuff you know and love on the PC version, even the PC HUD. Kill those pixels. Oh, you're getting shot. Is somebody else around? No. I think it was him. Oh, okay. Standing still and not moving. Oh, there's a guy up there. Oh. Throwing fireballs. Or what he will. Strafe! No! Turning does nothing! Ah! <laughs> I always found it funny in, in the 2.5D games is that you can aim up or down all at the same time. It's wherever the enemy is. Yep. Is where your bullet goes. Which is which is. But handy. not Duke Nukem. Was there up and down yeah. aiming? Ah. But it was still a 2.5D game. But... You could aim up and down. But, like, yeah, I mean, it was like a mouse and keyboard game in yeah. a way that this didn't have to be. Yes. I mean, it's still infinitely better. The PC version on ah! Steam got a big update recently. Oh. Did it get a reskin? Oh, shoot that barrel. Shoot it. Shoot the barrel. No, he's not near the barrel anymore. That would have been glorious. Yeah, yeah. 
it would have been and I wanted to do it, but I don't know if you know this, but <laughs> I don't have these controls down pat. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, I get Shoot it. the barrel, James. It would have been glorious, James. <laughs> there, barrel is shot, but it was off screen. Sadly. <laughs> oh, need some more health and ammo. Sir. Something. Oh, I think there's a... It's a barrel. Oh, well, we'll see what the barrel does. Explosion. There's a health over there. Oh, this is the first game to have exploding barrels. Which was awesome, and everybody copied them because it was awesome. Ooh, more health. And armor. And armor. Many, many helmets I get to put on. <laughs> yeah. Zero secrets. Yes. 60% of the items. Don't press it. It's a trap. More screen resolutions, other quality of life stuff. Oh. oh no. You die by barrel. Die by barrel. Okay, don't put that by barrel. And I have no ammo. I should go back back to it toward the guys. They probably dropped some ammo. You want to punch in the face? Oh, I just got some, got some ammo just in time. Well, you ran across the body. It, funny thing in this game, your fists are actually quite tough. They they are very effective because sometimes you need to use them. Yep, it's good when uh, there's a limited um, ammo game and there's an effective alternative. Oh yeah. Life too. Oh, the crowbar. And but you start off with literally nothing. <laughs> you start the game and people are shooting at you, and you, your only choice, literally your only choice, is to run. Run away. Run yeah, away. they had a huge sale on the Half Lifes, and they were giving away Half Lifes. So I'm like, okay, I'll download it. Half Life ha or, or Half Life Two or both? Uh, they're giving away Half Life, and Half Life Two was like a dollar. And I had five dollars credit. Is totally, it's great. It's totally playable. It's like, yeah, it's awesome. So I was playing a bit of that the other day. Armor, I need the armor. You, where are you going? Nowhere. Go over their bodies. They got ammo. Ammo for me. Ammo See? for me. You have no ammo. What's that over there? It's a toy. You already can't take it from me. That's where. I yeah, I went up there already. I should make sure I get all the ammo, because I am very low on ammo. And I have the red key, so I can go through this door. Oh, did that? Yeah, I think it actually got somebody. The barrel killed somebody. Don't forget to get the ammo from those other bodies. Ammo. Ammo from Explode. Ammo. Thank you for your ammo. Thank you for your contribution. It's very dark in here. Oh, help. I hear creatures. Oh. Uh-oh. Into the pit. Ah. Uh... Oh, no, I fell. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, am I in? No, I just hurt myself. What's happening? Who's shooting at me? Nope. Where are you? Oh, what? Did he jump down from somewhere? Weird. To your right. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Oh, it's so dark. So very dark. This is a very dark game. Grenades, yeah. Did you have grenades in this? Grenades? No. No, I don't think so. This game's so dark. Dun -dun. Which out came out? Wolfenstein came out first. Wolfenstein 3D. Both in the lifetime of the Jaguar and in real life. I don't have a shotgun yet, do I? Do I? Have... Nope. 
hands and that gun because I've not been going for secret doors. Health. Ah, I'm in a pit. Help. <laughs> Two seconds. Perfect ending. There we go. <laughs> Next one is Bubsy in Fractured Furry Tales. Furry, furry, furry. Uh, 19, uh, December 9th, 1994. Is this the second furry game? Yes, it is. For, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Jaguar is for furries, because it's also uh, named after a cat, so it's like full-on furries. Um, Bubsy and Fractured Furry Tales, a platform game developed by Imagitech Design and published by Atari Corporation, blah, 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 blah. The third entry in the Bubsy series, the plot follows a titular character who ventures through the realm of fairy tales. Whoa, it's such a big sprite. Um, go ask Alice, chapter one. Oh, there we go. It's 2D! Yay! Hop on the enemies. Um, to restore order and protect children all over the world from creatures and antagonists of corrupted fairy tales, which appeared after Mother Goose was captured by Hansel and Gretel. Oh. Tea party. Have to get all those bouncy balls. Yep. Eight. Nine. Oh, sure. Let's all Did you die? The what happened? I must have. There was like no death animation. It was just like screen. Nothing that indicated you died. You have eight lives? Oh my god, that's generous. Bubsy's Atari version of Sonic. I, I, I guess they're going for a mascot here. Uh oh. And you have a countdown clock, so there's a time limit. Oh, you got it. Oh. oh, it did have a death animation. It's just really quick. You just kind of go, eh, and you go sideways. He does run fairly fast. So I guess he was trying to compete with Sonic. Nice. Oh, there's one way up there. So do you land on the snake and then... Um... Do you have to get all the balls or are those just bonus? Oh. There's no health. It's one hit death. Quite, goes quite vertical. Oh, wow. How do you get up there? Did that hurt you? It looked like it hurt you. But there's no health. This game is rough. Eh, give him nine lives. <laughs> Whoa! He's got a... He's got a yo-yo. So now we have to make our way all the way back and there's nothing in between? Or do all the enemies come back? Oh. Um, seemed like the enemy stayed dead. Yeah, so we have to go through it. Like if you die right at the end of the level, you have to go, go through, through the empty whole level. empty level. <laughs> and you can walk on anything. Yeah, like... Or lots of things. Oh, I say. Not the but chair. not the chairs. Just yeah. anything Weirdly, but the chairs. Anything but the chairs. Yeah. Now there was some stuff up here, but it seemed like it was way too high for you to for you to even jump up that high. Like that. That was the one you didn't make. Oh, maybe you can get on the. No, can't get on the. Cap. Oh my god! Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put. Oh, there's a ball down there. What did I hit? I don't think you're allowed to hit the balloon. 
Oh. I don't know why. Super deadly balloon. There's a glide button. Uh, oh, there. Uh, oh, we thank need you. you. Double down. Thanks. There is. What's the other button do? Stops immediately. Oh, okay. Nice. Whee! So that means I can jump over these dudes that are coming up. Why don't I? Oh, deadly water. Water. No, swim! No, you said that yourself. <laughs> deadly water. Water is deadly in every game. Help see the sugar glider. Unless you can, uh, unless it's an underwater level, then all of a sudden you can swim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it, but any other level where there's water, it's absolutely deadly on the touch. Mm -hmm. Those are the video game rules. Yeah, you must respect them. Say? Let's go door to barter. Oh. Oh, nope, I'm not. Oh my god, kitten. Let's go sports the bobster. What? <laughs> Something the bobster. He's, he's Bubsy. No, no. Oh my god. Okay. This is the one. Let's get a good run from up here. Is this going to help if I jump and go up? Let's try and glide. Oh, it's an arrow. It's like saying go up there. Well, I'm not going to do that. This is your last life. Make it last Let's for three minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> Let's go sports the bobster. Well, we don't have far to go if we die. To get back to where we haven't been. Yeah. <laughs> you can't really build up speed because every time you land, he slows down. Oh, that's not the one. Where's the guys? Did I kill them? Oh, oh, I'm history. oh no, I'm history. Four minutes left. Sonic was able to spin. To swim. Uh, same with Mario. Mario can swim. What's wrong with what's wrong with Bubsy? He's he's an animal. He can swim. I bet if you accidentally went in water, you could swim too, even though you don't like water. Cats don't like water, but they can swim. They just start walking in water. And it works. Is that cookie like totally indestructible? Uh, no. I mean, I caught it. Oh, huh, beast! Uh, the graphics are good in the game. Oh, sure. Let's all torch the bubster. Let's let's all sports the bubster. No, I still can't figure out. I mean, we don't have a very high boy. <laughs> So pretty much if you jump really high all the time, you're liable to land on things rather than hit them from the side. I'm going to try and get these. Oh, what did I hit? The balloon? Okay, Cookie. Yeah, you can kill Cookie. What? What? Oh, they have the yo-yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Meow. Meow. Normally, I'm okay at platformers. <laughs> this game is not... Maybe I'm just playing it wrong. James tortured and still being Mr. Positive. <laughs> I'm trying. Trying, trying. The graphics are are nice. They're very very colorful, and you can see things most of the time. 
everything's like the enemies stand out fairly well amongst everything else. <sighs> Leap of faith. So I, have, I for sure I have to just get on that ledge because I can't tell where those rocks are. You need to have enough jump that you can make it to the rocks, maybe. Yeah. Maybe I mean, I'll try I'm not saying up. that's reasonable. I'm just saying <laughs> that like he's not very good at gliding. He's he glides only a tiny bit further than he jumps. Um, I would not say I liked that game very much. <laughs> um, the next one is Kas Kasumi Ninja. Uh, it is a fighting game. And I do have the controls if we need to do that. We'll try and play two players this time. This game looks really hard. I lost it minute two. It, it was very hard. Like excessively hard, especially for level one. Usually level one is like, here's the training level to build you up and you figure out the controls. So nope, it's a billion things to kill you immediately. Um, it was the first fighting title to be released for the Jaguar. No. Uh, and successfully uh, sought to capitalize on the trend of ultra-violent fighting games started by Midway Games Mortal Kombat in 1992. What about Bruce Lee? Was that not a fighting game? weird. So this is December 9th, 1994. So we're almost at the end. There's a fire in the distance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. An excessively elaborate menu system. Pick that. Go back to that one of those guys. A or B to select character. Select Entering the combat zone. Entering the player one versus Jaguar. What? Oh, you're playing the computer. Not computer, the Jaguar. Round one. Okay. Um, A is punch, B is kick, C is special move. Pretty much the same as uh, the Bruce, Bruce Lee game. Oh, you're defending pretty well there. Uh, jumping punch, up and punch, flying punch, up, forward and punch, crouching punch, down and punch, upper, uppercut, up and punch. How can the uppercut and jump... I didn't jump... do well, but I didn't feel like it was it was a mystery why. Right. I felt like... As opposed to the other... He was hitting me and I wasn't hitting him, you know. Like you're actually hitting him and you're actually doing damage. Like a noticeable amount of damage in this game. Bruce Lee one is like, I hit him and he's blocked every single move. Oh, he almost did an uppercut. Oh, no mercy. Like oh, no it. mercy. So the moves are fairly straightforward. It's pretty much like the Bruce Lee one. One is for kicks, one's for punch, and you have the up, down, left, right for various variations of it. Entering the combat zone. Aliens versus Doomenstein menu system. Show no mercy. I mean, it's no way of the warrior. Round one. Good block. Good block. Oh, you're tied. Even better than last time. Oh no. Block, back for block. Backwards, yeah. Yeah. And down and backwards for for crouch block. Nice. Got him in a corner. Ah, oh, you did much better this time. Round two. Almost got him. This is, this is about the level you want a first enemy to be. Where you can like actually block against him, you can actually hit him. I don't even know. Like, can you do anything against the, the flames? Oh, no mercy. Right. I don't know about the flames, but did you, did you block against the flames and it didn't do anything? I don't know, I can't tell. Okay. Select your opponent. I don't know, that person. Thundra, thundra. Entering the combat zone. Thundra. Nice name is Senzo. Okay, let's do it. 
Oh, I didn't block. How about I just do a roundhouse kick every time because I'm blocking at all times with the roundhouse kick. <laughs> Many kicks. I won! Woo! You beat up a girl! She wasn't wearing very protective clothing. I think that's that's an issue to begin with. Uh, I don't think you're wearing protective clothing either, true. just for the record. Uh, that is very true. It's more than what she's got, but... Not much, and it's, it looks about as thin, so... You look like you're ready for surgery. <laughs> I am prepped and washed. Rubbed up and ready to. I think he forgot to do oh my God. and defend all the time. I think I did. Oh no. A solid defeat against me on second round, but now it's a deciding round. I'll try. <laughs> I, all the finishing moves are here, but I'm, I'm not going to read through them. You're a ninja. What are you supposed to wear? True. Uh, well, I've already fought her, so... Uh, I guess this guy. Senzo, select your opponent. Oh, what? Alaric. Sure. Entering the combat zone. That's first James, one. avenge me. I will try. I'll use my um, kicking powers. Watch out, watch out for his cheating. Oh. Moves. What? Block that. Come on. Oh, he has projectiles. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Stop it. What? So fast. I think you have to, like, duck those things. I don't think Oh, that makes sense. Nope. Just ducking. Okay, let's block. Nope. I mean, it doesn't hurt as much when you block, but it does. Uh, doesn't doesn't do much. You certainly can't jump over them or duck. Oh no. Oh no, mercy. Oh no. I didn't avenge you. I'll have to try him again. Oh, my credits ran out. I yeah, need more quarters. It doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like a legit accent. It does sound like no. someone trying to do an accent. But, yeah, it's, but not a lot skilled. It doesn't sound like they're making fun of them though. No. It doesn't it, actually sound racist. It just sounds like a bad rendition. Hundred percent. Round one. Oh my god. Kick him! Get some hits in! Are you just yelling at yourself? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My punches aren't doing anything. Oh, maybe because I'm not punching. Yeah. Oh, this guy's much harder. Round two. Oh, uppercut. Of course, I try and do the same move, and he uh, totally destroys me. Oh, he's so much harder. I mean, I mean, I'm also very unskilled, but uh, he is much harder. Okay, roundhouse kicks for you. Just a bunch of roundhouse kicks. No! <laughs> I just blew your head off. <laughs> oh, my old oh, upper your torso. Whole torso! Gone! Here, trouble. Three, two. Select your opponent, Alaric. Entering the combat zone. Andre the medium. the medium. Pretty much. He's got the same hairstyle. And and he can uh, he can talk to ghosts between you and the ghosts you want. Ah! <laughs> uh, I was like, what? 
Then I got it. That means it was a good joke. <laughs> so good. You can jump over them. Okay. But, I mean, both times you jumped, did you know he was throwing a thing, or you just... I did. Oh, that one, did? too. Yeah. Okay, so you're seeing the telegraph. Okay. Yeah. He, it, there is enough time. And he usually throws it when you're pretty far away, so... Oh, my God. I beat him. Woo! Yay, good to end on. I beat him! <laughs> one round. Okay, next one is the second-to-last game. It's Zool 2. It's a side scrolling platformer. Yay. Hopefully uh, less hard. Uh, it was also released on... Oh, the last one was an exclusive. What is this? Oh, if Zool. Want... Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. Don't... No, it's not. What is the next one? It's uh, a sne skiing and snowboarding game. Oh. But you did say that. I didn't I did. screw up. Okay. Yeah, you didn't screw up. I did. I missed it. It's... Ooh. You're off the hook. I don't like... I don't like using that. That would have been a, a demerit against you. I don't and... like using my demerits. <laughs> uh, Val Desere Skiing and Snowboarding, December 9th, 1994, exclusive. Ugh, sports games. I know. Mm. Uh, it's, it's. I mean, a... like the last sports game I liked was uh, Raving Rabbits, where you use the uh, balance board with your butt to balance but down the hill. But that's, yes, technically a sports game. Technically, it was literally a sports game. You were you were snowboarding on your butt down the hill. Are you doing, Mr. Chew? Chewy, chewy cat. Um, look, at it. it's a conversion of an, an SNES title. How is that exclusive again? Oh, let's do two players. As long as they're not in a row, and hopefully they're at the same time. We'll see. Ooh, look no, at that. One at That's a, a long... Shred! Groovy... T oh, it's one at a time. Of course it is. Shred, shred, shred the mountain, man. Oh, you stopped. Go for it, dude. Whoa, radical. That's me. <laughs> I'm skiing. Doing. I'm doing the pizza. French fries, pizza. Oh, you wiped out. Keep going, no man. Way, man. Keep going. You're on fire or something. Ankle kick. Ankle kick. The this this game of only the one to have a unique Jaguar logo on the box covered in snow. Oh, interesting. Oh, rock covered in snow. I could. See. Oh, you're on fire. No, you're better. Now. I'm guessing that was invincibility. Oh, you kind of wasn't hit a tree invincible. For that yep. moment, you were. Oh, well, you running out I of time. I was on fire for a long time. You didn't hit anything, so I couldn't tell. Sorry, I, I stopped because for some reason that time I thought you said, "Oh, you kind of hit a tree," and I was like, "Oh, but I'm also out of time." That's what <laughs> oh. I thought. But I was looking at mile per hour. Oh, and it oh. went to zero, and I was like, "Oh, I'm out of time." That's why. That makes sense. Still player one. When do I get my turn? What? Nobody What's cares. going on? Oh, now it's my turn. Do I play with your... Well, we play with the same joystick. Nobody's ever going to buy two joysticks for this system. Why does it come up with Virtual Studio every time? That's so weird. It's like, you only need to show your... Who made the game once. You don't need to show it every time. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like part of the challenge is the refusal to let you see yeah. where you're going. Yeah, it's like, going. what? Okay, am I going to crash? Where's the I guess turn? that's. I guess if you had a, a oh run like God. this, that would be the challenge. True, you'd have to... If you're going this fast, you would have to memorize the course, kind of like a bobsled. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is it... Oh, I thought it was a tank. You know, it's a... Wow. I, I, I don't think it's any... What? I don't think it's any more reasonable to have a tree or a plow on the racetrack. But I guess you're not racing? Did I miss that? What? Check missed. Oh, I missed the check by like a foot. So what happens? Do I fail completely or? Five seconds. One. Oh, Out of time. <laughs> Whoa, zoom. Yeah, we know what we're playing. You go. Okay, so it's my Ed, turn. made by Virtual Studio. <laughs> 
You won't have enough time if you miss the checkpoint. There's nothing on the screen to show you like which way to turn the virtual studio again. They really, really like showing the name in this game. And like the checkpoint came up like whoa, right in my face. Super Jeez, you fast. You don't have to steer. You like only kind of have to steer because it steers for you. But you do have to steer. It's just not clear how much because it's doing a lot of the steering for you. It is. Weird. Yeah, it is doing a lot of steering. Hmm. I guess you can watch the tracks in the snow a bit as well on which way to turn. Oh, he almost made it through. Missed the rocks. That was good. Checkpoint! Darcy got the checkpoint. Chose the left lane. Visually, it's very good. But it's one of those games where I'm really bad at where there's things that come in your... That, that appear right in your face so quickly that you have zero time to react. It's like you go over a hill and there's like five skiers just standing there. It's like, whoa, well, how are you supposed to react to that? There was a jump. It was it pressing forward or back? If you go up, you jump. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sounds almost like real life ice skiing and snowboarding. Pretty much, Dan Locke. Like, if you're going this fast, it's gonna be this hazardous. Yeah, I, it's just, it's weirdly disconcerting how it steers for you. <laughs> but like you there. kind of have to steer. Yeah. Oh my god, that looked like you're going off a cliff. Yeah, I thought, oh, I guess I'm going off a cliff. <laughs> There's nothing. There's nothing there. You're uh, kind of kicking ass this time. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. oh my. Into the barriers. This is long as you. Oh, 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 apparently. It's like, go right! And then, then all the arrows say go left. Whoa, whoa. That's really fast. The speed of this game is one of the more impressive things about it. Like comparing it to some of those other games that, that we're playing Check it. that were flat shaded, this one is like super, super, super fast compared to that. But it's also not 3D. It's it's scaling oh, yeah, yeah. graphics, right? Yeah. But, but, but that's what you, you should do. Yeah, right? you don't need 3D for, for everything. <laughs> Graphical glitch. Exactly some line there. So used to like playing uh, homebrewers games. Oh, I'm going to tell the homebrewer about that. He needs to fix it. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, we're about 30 years too late. I guess you jump over those things when there's like patchy, patchy areas. Oh, yeah. You did it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Woo! Woo! Bummer, rash your grill, bro. <laughs> Could emu speed be a bit faster than the real deal? Um, well, we're not playing on an emulator. We're playing on a real Jaguar. Yeah. So, I mean, emulator could be faster if you have a fast computer and it's um, not bounded by the 60 frames a second. Let's see if I learned anything from Darcy's run. I learned not to steer as much as I was because it steers for you. Like, look at that, but, but I'm not like, even doing anything. But the thing is, you do have to steer. That's the weird bit. thing is, you have to steer, but ah. you also don't have to steer. Like, it's like, it's confusing because you, you gotta steer, steer but bit. it does a lot of the steering for you. And Yeah, it's like you're almost in weird. the grooves of the, the trail. Whoa, I like fully hit that person <laughs> and it didn't matter. Yeah. I guess the people don't matter as much as trees. They're a bit more... Uh, Yay, I got yeah. the checkpoints. They're a bit softer targets. Ah, oh, no, I forgot. It, it was like pressing it, buttons randomly. It did seem like when uh, well, when you were playing before that, or maybe it was when I got close to them, like just a whoosh, whoosh. But 
didn't actually like it. Oh! Holy crap, this is... Yeah. Radical. I think that's the... I think that's the... You are right that that is the key you jump over. Yeah. Because then you don't slow down. What? I jumped it! Did, can't you land? Do I have to land for you? No. I don't have to land Lands. Why in that jump? Maybe I clipped... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Just need to make the checkpoint. Oh, and it's over! Um, not, not the worst game. There's a lot of speed, a lot of action. Uh, now we're playing Zool 2, uh, which is not an exclusive. It was on Amiga, Amiga CD32, Atari Jaguar, Blackberry, and MS-DOS. Blackberry, interesting. Blackberry. Side-scrolling platform game originally developed by the Warp Factory, published by Gremlin Graphics. When the forces of cruel are re K R O O L cruel are wreaking havoc. Whoa, big! Video. I remember when this big would have video. been like cool video. Yeah, it's like oh my god, it's full screen video at five frames a second, <laughs> even less probably. That was really low frame rate. Takes up a lot of room on a cartridge. Uh, with the help of his henchman, Mental Block, the intergalactic gremlin ninja, Zool, you're a ninja. Along with his female companion, Zuz, you're playing I'm playing Zuz. Zuz. I don't play the game Zool. It's, nope. Uh, Zuz all the way. Zuz. Oh, you're playing Swan Lake. Stable. And their two-headed dog, Zoon. Oh, you got weapons. Oh, get all the candy. Those look like spikes in the background. Very deadly. Oh, very colorful. Very fast platformer. Oh, this is a sponsored game. Uh-huh. I was just going to say, this is like... Ooh, wall grabbing. That's cool. Chupa Cups? Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, I think you can go... Oh. Nice. Really great graphics in this game. Oh, bouncing. Nice. That's about all there is. Are you the ge gatekeeper? Yes. There is only Zool. Oh, missed the heart. Uh, uh, oh, you do have a meter. Okay. Oh, you're out of the meter. Don't get hit. Oh, uh, so you have five hit points. Does it start all over? No. Yeah, it did start over. The heart. Nice. Another Sonic game. Running super fast. Super Cups. I could never get into Sonic because I could never follow what's going on the screen. It's, it's another one of those games where you have to memorize the track because you can go so fast. Can you get through there? No, it's just a secret. So do you have to get everything on the screen, on every level? Or maybe you have to go back up and go to the right. Climb up the wall. Uh, I was unable to climb. Oh. Amiga port. Yes. Originally released for the Amiga microcomputer, Zool 2 was later ported to Amiga CD32, MS-DOS, Atari Jaguar, and... Oh, checkpoint. So that's... Oh, that's, that's a checkpoint. Jump, that's fire. And, yeah. And, and the Chupa pop or whatever, you bop it from underneath. Bop it, twist it. No! There must be a way to... Hello! Oh, that's slip... No! How do I get back out? There we go. No, we're not done yet. It's close. Sec second to last game. You gotta shoot those things. Uh, or land on them, I guess. I just mean the birds. Like, the, like they, uh, they, Yeah, I made it across. They eat your health. Bad birds. It's an egg. Bouncy egg. It's a bouncy egg. The worms. Are they gummy worms, I guess? Yeah. Oh, 
bonus. I didn't even see what it was. I'm almost at health. Why did you, you buy bags. those? You have <laughs> so much candy from from oh, the. Oh no, these are these are chocolate candy cane Oreos. Oh, well, you want to show them in front of the camera? Well, yeah. well, you don't have to come in front. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Candy cane candy chocolate. Candy cane chocolate, basically. Oh, just sugar, sugar, sugar. Yeah. Anyone? Anyone? Sugar? No. Thank you. no, no. I, would, I resist. Of I course, resist. I would like one. Of course, you would. Oh, you can't climb You up. gotta jump on. No, no, no. You go back. You can jump on that egg. Oh, this egg? Yeah. No. no. Oh, you can jump on the. Okay, go over there. That red one you should be able to jump on. Nope. I was jumping on them before. Uh, oh. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's broken now. What'd you do? I think I broke it. <laughs> Running out of lives trying to. No, it's not. How did I break it? Maybe they. Oh, you're supposed to break them. There's candy in them. Oh! Oh my god. What? Somebody following me. Thank I think you. you have to get up here. Did that hurt me? The, um... Stop being so slippy! Now I'm too scared. That is going to... Oh my god! Don't die. I need some help. Badly. Did I make a checkpoint? No. No. Of course I didn't. Don't be silly. I'm like totally running. Like those birds are. They're a mess. So yeah. annoying. Yeah. But you, you, you kill them. You don't try to kill them. You just. I'm just running. You just ignore. It and then, oh, there's right down, 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 down. Check. Oh, how come there I didn't go. accidentally even run into that? I was all over. You were that. very close to it, but and very angry. <laughs> but you like... didn't angrily jump on it. I didn't. I didn't. <gasps> Heart. Oh, good. I see you, bird. So slippery. Oh, that thing, things come back. Maybe I have to take. Look at that bird. Oh, so le totally unfair. At least I'm at the checkpoint. So, is that infinite lives? No, I have one left. Stop coming back. <laughs> Stop being a game, game. Stop being, Stop game. being challenging, game. <laughs> Be I easy. want to have finished you already, game. <laughs> oh, no. That's the worst when you go further some back games, than you started. The problem is that you don't have enough mo mobility, and some you have such mobility that you just get sloppy. Yeah, this one is. Heart flew oh, away. Now. Sorry. It flew away. Also, bounce those things because they got stuff in them. Out, that thing that thing doesn't love you. Can't no. kill it. Yeah, I, I, I uh, no, I can't. But those uh, those red eggs are bouncy. Oh. oh. Or you can jump on them or something. Yeah. Looks like they're temporary can. platforms. Yeah. Oh, not high. Not high. These eggs. But look up there. Above that, there's something. Oh. So go up here and then jump onto the back. Slippery. Oh, so close. I bet you can. Go down further to get closer. Oh, come on. Oh, where did that guy come from? <laughs> just no, out of nowhere. Oh, I thought that was the funniest thing. <laughs> that was just like. That was like an annoyed to death. I just fell so far down. Oh, this game. 
where the game is so open that if you make one mistake, you're like, fall, fall, fall even more, fall even more. You're way back now. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm running into absolutely everything. <laughs> game over with game nine over. seconds. Uh, good, good, goodish timing. The look of the game is awesome. It's just, there's enemies everywhere. You want diabetes. You want diabetes. What do we do now? Speaking of, um, I'll have a cookie. Oh, very minty. Uh, Iron Soldier, the last game. It's an exclusive game. December 22nd, 1994. So we're at the end of 1994 now. Iron Soldier is an open world first person mech simulation video game. Uh oh. Developed by Eclipse. Uh, the first installment of this eponymous franchise, the game is set in dystopian future. They're always dystopian. Where industries and machinery have overrun the most of the surface of the Earth. As players assume the role of a resistance member taking control of the titular mech in an attempt to overthrow the dictatorship of Iron Fist Corporation, who have conquered the world through the use of military force. Oh, this is really nice looking. Wow. Very nice crap. Drawing. Very nice drawing. Scrolling drawing. Yeah. Well, somebody's a Chelsea Mao is excited about uh, Iron Soldier. So much stomp. The bust. Go for it. Oh, spinning cubes. There's your tank. It's a wireframe. You're completely exposed. There's no armor on it. Oh, select your mount. One choice. Assault rifle. Yeah. That's it. I don't think you get much choice in the first level. I like it. Mmm, very good. Mmm. Help me. Shoot it! No, up, up, up! Yeah, but it's it's the wrong kind of up. Oh, uh, is it backwards? Well. Or is it backwards to backwards? Uh, how do we move? Try the buttons. Looking... Try the buttons. Oh, okay, so you have to like hold the button mm. and then move. It's like accelerate and decelerate, like the other game, I think. Yeah. And there's the radar with the enemies. Choppers! See, this is how you make a 3D game. Where there's like a background, everything's open, everything's different colors. Get the chopper. Get where's the chopper? Where's the chopper? It's gone. It's hiding. Oh, I think it just landed on you. Somebody's shooting you. I think they're circling your head and dropping bombs on you. Oh, I'm getting hit. Must be a tank. I don't see any helicopters. There, they oh, they're there. They were behind you the whole time. And they're as tough as the tank. There you go. Yeah, this game looks really good. Oh. oh, he's turning. He's firing. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what exploded? Something exploded. There we go. Nice explosion. Cats are mowering. Uh, I suspect there are ways to change the orientation in the uh, oh, I bet. options. Because you seem to be messed up by it. Oh, yeah. So up is up? Uh, yeah, you, no, up is up cursor is down. up. Uh, <laughs> up is cursor up. Up is down. <laughs> up is scroll up, <laughs> right. which means everything moves down. 
Oh my god, so many helicopters. Somebody said the hexagon fuel thing exploded at some point. I'm out of oh bullets. no! Now what? Is there more bullets to get? Or you just stomp on tanks? Stomp on the tanks. I'm gonna go explode this thing. There's gotta be some bullets somewhere. Otherwise, what? Why are we still playing? Great mech game, Dan says. What's the objective of this level? I'm guessing... Oh my god, you stomped it. So I guess you can stomp when... You can't kill the helicopters, you can't stomp those. Is there even a health? Oh, the health meter is probably at the bottom. Somebody shooting at you. Can you like pick up the tank and use it as a weapon? <laughs> Stop! Maybe that's what you should do is shoot the helicopters and stomp the tanks and then you won't run out of bullets. That might be it. Looks like there's only... Oh no, there's more enemies. Oh, maybe that yellow thing. Go for the yellow thing on the radar. Red, I would expect, is enemies. Closer. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Stomp him! Stomp. Stomp that Stop guy. I if I can get it. Low energy. Your last thing that you did. Yeah! Didn't get to see the explosion, but that's okay. Yeah, it looks really cool. And, um... Great premise that you're a mech stomping around, stomping on tanks. Did you kill it? Yeah. But I have no, no. Start over. I have no weapon. Uh, let's okay. Let's start over. Good title screen. What was the option we were going to look into? Uh, oh, the up and down? Uh, aiming up and down. Yeah, reverse. There you go. Is this in game music? Yes, it is. And it's the last game of the night. Give me my weapon. There is no different mounts. We just get one weapon. Good kitties. Arr, rah, 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 rah. Oh, no, you're not allowed to fight me. You're not allowed. You get in trouble. We're you gonna stomp these trouble. tanks. You stop trying to bite me or I'm gonna bite you. And we're gonna shoot helicopters. Try to punch Stomp. button. If there's a punch button. Um, there's an accelerate button and there's a shoot button. That's it. Don't have In normal punches. mode, when you press the joystick up, the cursor went up. Yeah. So now it's like airplane mode. Airplane mode, which makes a little bit more sense. Boom! Very good explosions. Mm -hmm. I'd say the the visuals in this game are very very good. And the head bob, like the bobbing of the movements, really good. Okay, Mr. Tank, you get squished. Yeah, you better run.
I'm gonna go that way. You gonna think you're? Oh, no, you're gonna hit the building. Uh, no. Back up. Well, you changed targets. You got almost to the tank to stop him, <laughs> and then you <laughs> decide, oh, I get distracted. Helicopter <laughs> shot me. Get the helicopter. <laughs> True. <laughs> It. I want to play a little bit more. This is the last game yeah. of the night. So I want to, I don't know, shoot some more helicopters and then we'll be done. Oh, so many helicopters. So little of bullets. Let that one go. It's hiding behind the tower. Come back. Yeah, but you're wrong, V. A VVG double <laughs> down. It doesn't make sense. It's the same type of thing as an airplane. You're, you're on a pivot, you pull back. To pivot up, you push forward to pivot down. You're pushing down. Yeah, pushing I mean, down. You're pulling up. It's the either, exact same. It's, it, they could make it the opposite on an airplane. They could. They don't because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> 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 oh, somebody's shooting at me. Where are they? There's nothing to do with flying. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh. Where's my bullet amount? Oh, I the think reason it's the cursor, me. the reason the cursor doesn't make sense to push forward for the for the cursor to go up is that pushing forward isn't up. It's <laughs> forward. That's right. So it's arbitrary. Yeah. So it can be down and or if up. you and <laughs> if you put a target on top of your joystick and pull back, it goes up, not down. <laughs> you push forward, it goes down. <laughs> More raspberries for you. <laughs> it's it, it's convention, so that and we're very used to convention of yeah. health, of the planes. But it yeah. also makes sense. Like like if you put yourself in a mech, and you're going to lean forward, would you pull back to lean forward? That's right. And and that's what you're doing. You're 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 like you're changing your torso's position. Which also doesn't make sense. Like in a motorcycle, you get pulled back. Oh no, it does. Like same in a motorcycle. That's to go. Faster. I think so, yeah. So that if you get pulled off, it yeah. doesn't all of a sudden accelerate yeah, like that. I believe that's Same in a it. mech. It's like it's you're going forward and all of a sudden you get jolted back. You don't all of a sudden go start bolting forward. But we're not talking about back. moving forward or back. We're talking about which way it goes if you if you pitch forward or back. I haven't played Missile Command. I'm sorry for the choice. <laughs> is it backwards? Missile Command is a 2D game. Yeah. So up, down, left, right, it totally makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's not a. It's, it's not you a, are moving a cursor. Yeah. You're not. You're yeah. not. You're not. So in, in a mech, same as an airplane, the cursor isn't moving. The plane is moving, or the mech yes. is moving. It's not a cursor that's zipping around the screen. Hi, cat. You didn't get your treats. Well, whichever one you. A you can get used to either. Yes. And in fact, I got screwed up on first-person shooters <laughs> somehow. I don't know what happened. I was oh. playing it, and like, it, like neither way was each way was a little wrong somehow. I don't know what happened. Because you you probably played flight simulators and but they're the same first-person shooter, and but a first-person shooter to me is the same as uh, I do it the same as yeah. in a Mac. For the same reason. Right, right. Okay, I'll shoot you. Because I can't see the ketchup. <laughs> I'm running out of bullets, though. Is this like infinite bullets? I think there is an objective, but I'm just like killing things. And they have infinite resources. But if the mech's arm goes up like this, it's like you push forward and the arm goes down. You pull back and the arm goes up. That makes sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to push forward and have the arm go up. Yeah, like... Think of your arm, right? You're moving yeah. it. It's like pushing forward <laughs> is not up. It's forward. <laughs> Fighting a losing battle. <laughs> no. All, all I can say is it's convention and everybody's very used it's to okay it. It's okay that your opinion can't be swayed, but also you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it is his arm, but still it doesn't matter. Like, does it make sense? to push forward and have his arm go up? 
That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Yeah, but they didn't know what they were doing. They <laughs> often have it wrong. They often have it wrong in the uh, options. Meta bullets. I, I didn't pay attention to our <laughs> objective, so I am now a mech stomping the city. Uh, that's this is a good game. Yep. This is very very good. That's game. very cool. Good graphics. Um, good the fact representation. That, the fact that you can reverse it is the only thing that matters. It would be wrong if you could only have it airplane style. Yes, because some people yeah, wouldn't understand that. And it's so easy to be able to do both. And once you learn one way, it's like... Okay, let's it's do brutal to go thumbs down way. and thumbs up or sideways on each of the games. If I can remember them. Cybermorph, down, flat shaded. It was okay, but it, it wasn't... At worst, I would say sideways. At worst? Okay. Yeah, because I'm it actually, down. like... Like, you would have to get used to the controls, but the controls worked. Like, it was yeah, fluid. Like, when you're true. flying, like, I didn't get used to it, but I would. It wasn't visually appealing, but the controls were intuitive. Like, after, yeah. like, they were fine. It and wasn't even a great game. It was like when you move down and up. I don't know. It could have been better, but. Yeah. I put uh, it in the middle. Trevor McFur in the Crescent Galaxy. I'd say a sideways. It was not a great shooter, but it wasn't a terrible shooter. It was yeah. a shooter. Evolution Dino Dudes. It was fine. It was fine. Middle. It, it wasn't. I like puzzle games. Yeah. We didn't you have time to no, evaluate I would give it. it. I'd probably give it a thumbs down. Yeah. But the the only reason is that it's so slow to do the puzzle. It was very that slow. That was it. Moving. It's like, oh, we figured it out, and then we're like, oh, crap. We have to, we have to like... <laughs> do it all over again. I don't want it to take a long time to execute the obvious plan. Mm. Anyways. Uh, Raiden, thumbs up. Which one was that? It's a top-down shooter, power-ups, red, blue squares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Great sure, graphics. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a shooter. Tempest 2000, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> two thumbs up. <laughs> Wolfenstein, we don't even need to say it. Thumbs it's obviously up. thumbs up. Yeah. Brutal Sports Football. That was actually thumbs up, too. Yeah, it was I fun. mean, I hate those sorts of games. But that was But I still give it a thumbs up. I think I would get, like, if you played it longer, you'd be like, oh, I know the moves, and I, I know yeah, what's yeah. going on the screen a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alien vs. Predator. I would yeah, say yeah, 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 for sure. When we first played it, I was like blown away by how cool yeah. it was. Yeah. Uh, and we just didn't have enough time, and I forgot about opening doors. We yeah. really spent almost all the time <laughs> relearning the learning curve. Yeah. yeah. Um, checkered flag. That was it. Was it was okay? That was the one where I was crashing into the walls. There was tunnels. It was a yeah. racing simulator. Yeah, it was. It was okay. The frame rate was a bit. Uh, I wouldn't. Some... I can't give it a thumbs up. No, no. Because it was so. I go sideways. The, the steering was. A club drive. I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs down. Yeah. The graphics were just. It, was, it just felt pointless. It was in, not intuitive. And it wasn't. Yeah. There wasn't. Like what there was, was the value? There was no value. No value. It was a poorly executed, low value yeah. situation. Dr they could have put a game into it, and then it yeah, like collect the collect the things. Excuse to drive around. It like yeah. Anyways, yeah, it was hard to know what you were saying. Value of club drive is in our heart. <laughs> yes, it could have been good. The concept of you're a little car in a big world. That's great. Uh, Drag in the Bruce Lee story. Uh, the ramp up of difficulty was crazy. The graphics were fine. It it might have been this. It might have been a fine game. Like once you know the moves, it might just be that like the boss. Is, like, every guy <laughs> is a boss. Yeah. And every fight is like you have to be as good as Bruce Lee to 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 beat them because they have so many hit points. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Lee only I fights tough guys. You know. But. In the 10 minutes we played it, I hated it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But it looks good. You know? Yep. Oh, sorry, buddy. Um, Doom. I think it was a decent, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. decent representation I mean, of Doom. What, it was what good, else do yeah. you need? Yeah. Um, Bubsy and Fractured Furry Tales. Um, I did terrible at it. It looked good. I would say a middle. Because it was very, 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 very I, hard. I, I, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kasumi Ninja. Um, that was the other fighting game. It was fine. I think. I think it, it was, was fine. I think it was. I think it was good. Like yeah. I don't know how to play it, 
but it seemed as far as a fighting it game seemed goes. like how it should be. Like it seemed good, and the, the graphics Kraken, were good. Yeah. It looked like I can't, was it Mortal Kombat? Yeah, Mortal, yeah, Mortal Kombat looked, style. It looked like it was trying to be Mortal Kombat, and I thought it was fully successful in that. Like yeah. I, I actually give it like. For what they were trying to do, yeah. I think they did a really good job. I I, I don't I never played those games. And I don't I'm not either. super into it, but I think Oh man, you're generous saying <laughs> Ninja was fine. fine. <laughs> it, was, it was fine. All right. Yeah, everybody has yeah, different opinions. But I don't like fighting games. I don't like fighting games. But, but it seemed we'll like it was doing the thing it was supposed to do. You had True. to block and and you figured out the jumping the thing. Like there were the things you were supposed to do. And, and that's, it, that's what how you should rate a game. It Not looked that how, I it looked, hated it. It looked like what the people were doing in Mortal Kombat when I watched them 100%. play in the arcade, which is the only thing I did. They're I jumping, it. they're kicking, they're throwing yeah. things, they're doing fatalities. Yeah. Uh, the skiing and snowboarding. I'd actually give it a thumbs up in terms of it being a snowboarding game. Yeah. It looked good. It was fast. All the things were there. Except for the flames under the kilt. Uh, is that what it was? Oh, funny. Zool 2. I think for what it was, it was good. I didn't like it because it's too fast. It's one of those fast-moving platformers, which I don't I like. Thought, I, thought that it, I thought it was good. Yeah, it looked good. It yeah. sounded good. It had great graphics it had everything there a platformer does yeah. i don't like fast moving platformers i like slow methodical that's why i didn't like the yep. two platformers yeah it was um but it looked awesome yeah uh iron soldier thumbs up yeah it was cool it was great sure, yeah. great mech was game good. stomping things fun it looked good had a nice horizon it was a 3d game that looked good uh, to great remember explosions too when no it was it was late it was late 2000s that MechWarrior 2 came out. Yeah. Yes, I remember that. So and it the, was, it was like, like it was, I mean, it was a lot better than that, eight. but that, the Iron Soldier was good. Like it. Yeah, for a 2004? It just worked. Like, 2004 the graphics release? Were, That's for great. what they were trying to do, the graphics didn't get in the way. and it, you know, No, you could tell yeah. what everything was. You knew what you were doing. Yeah stomping on things bullets i mean we didn't play it properly because we didn't follow the mission and we ran out of bullets just shooting things <laughs> but that was fun shooting yeah, stuff I, that, <laughs> I can't blame the game for my not knowing the mission since yeah. i just started playing and did not read anything <laughs> <laughs> anybody wants to give the cat some treats before we go we can do that if not we, they can starve and uh, wait till next time uh, Steel Battalion Xbox with a controller is the ultimate mech game. Uh, like one of those big, uh, massive controllers. That that's a big investment. So, but if you like mech games, that would be uh, pretty cool. I remember playing Mech Warrior Two, multiplayer, and I because I played BattleTech. Maybe I knew that you would just shoot people on the legs, and so <laughs> for the first time, of course, at, right? For the first time, <laughs> they're immobile. At the land party, I was just like destroying everybody, and I was like, I like this game. <laughs> <laughs> yum, 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 oh, the yum, cat freaked out. Oh, it is street time. Thank you to Lord Monkus. If you have not watched the show before, and I know there's some some names here that you I haven't seen before. It is cat treat time where we feed the cats and it's actually a game. So you get to bet on which cat <laughs> wins. And there's two cats. There is Sprite, which is this cat right here. And there is Atari, the gray cat. And Sprite is faster eating. And doesn't steal his own food. Here, come here, come here, come here. Get in the room. Yeah. So the long shot is Atari. Um, it hurt. Nope. Don't hurt. <laughs> so let's switch over to the cat cam. Get ready. Okay, cats. Two people have bet on Atari. One person on Sprite. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and all the money's on Atari too. Oh yeah. Wow. Because oh. Atari won. The last game. Oh, good job. Exactly. Yeah, I think it was 10 to... I close that door? That's fine. He can't open it. Why would you want out there? Is Sprite going to disappoint us again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sprite. Oh, no, Sprite. He wins like 19 out of 20. <laughs> and now he's a disappointment to double down. Is that because you bet on him last time? Yeah. Probably. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh hi. Still two on a... Oh, two to two. 
not much money on Sprite. Psst, psst, do not chew that cable. Not much money on Sprite. Yeah, don't look at me like that. You're getting fed. Calm. <laughs> they have to bet. Okay. 7,500 points. That's a lot of points. About, about 30 seconds. Little turd talk. <laughs> oh, little turd. Oh, poor little baby. And the funny thing is, poor it's baby like, cat. generally speaking, Sprite is the, like, oh, safe destroying. money. 10 but to like, 7, at least. But if you bet all your money on them every time... That's a lot. All your money will disappear one in 20 <laughs> times, and then you will have nothing. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and we got 10 seconds left. Place your last bets. Five on Sprite. Oh, it's even money on either. Mm. Uh, okay, it's over. Five people bet on Sprite, two on Atari, but the money is pretty even. So the people who bet on Atari are going to win big. Okay, ready? Okay, and go. Oh, and Atari's off, the, and Sprite is off to the races as well. Let's see. It's a good. Up. It's a good start. Open. 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 Oh, this one might need it. It's a good start for Atari. Right. Who? Who got it? Don't encourage Sprite. He doesn't need any. Doesn't need any encouragement. Oh, Atari's. Oh, I couldn't tell. I think it was both of them. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Oh, stinks. So bad these things. Oh, get it. Oh. No. Sprite's still lagging behind. Didn't get it. No, nope, there he got it. 4-4, four, four, tied up. Atari is ahead. Oh my god, will it be a repeat of last time? Sprite is lagging behind. Atari is devouring them. What a strong ring from Atari. There we go. Sprite is way behind now. Got a half treat behind. He could catch up. He's done it before. But Atari is on point today with strong hits. Strong, strong hits. He's almost a full behind, a full treat behind now. Wow, oh no, he's catching up a little bit now. But Atari is strong, he's two away from winning. Oh, oh, ah, he got it again, now it's game point. And it's Sprite, and it's game point, next one wins, and it's Atari, it's 10, nine, very, very close. Wow. wow. Congratulations. What an upset, folks. What an upset. Atari wins again twice in a row. Has he been practicing in uh, No, the Look, difference. Look, more. They're, oh, good kitty. He is eager They're, today. They, it, like, it's a little bit Atari being fast and a little bit Sprite being slowing down. Yeah. And just being like, oh, yeah, no, I walked this one. Okay, <laughs> let's give out the... I phoned this one in. Atari got tired of losing. So it's Kev cleans up. It's Kevin stage one boss sharing the profits between them. Oh my goodness. How much did it's how much did Kev bet? Did he go big? It's I can't tell. Oh, it's about no, it's Kev bet like 75% of them. Wow, big money. Cat turns eight, brings his A game. Yeah, he turned eight. Turned eight about uh, a couple days ago. Good kitty. On Tuesday. Was it Tuesday or Monday? I think it was one of those. Well, well, the thing is that's funny is that Atari, when when it was Sprite and Atari, Atari was the bell dinger, and Sprite, or sorry, uh, Pixel, when Pixel. Pixel and Atari, yeah, uh, Atari would ding the bell, and yeah, Pixel was just like, eh. <laughs> I'll get a snack when you ring the bell. Like, you didn't ring the bell. <laughs> yeah. It's only points. Yeah, they don't count for anything. Yeah. Why do you oh, always think you're getting more? What happened? You just got treated. You got treated. You can't get more. Uh, so, what's coming up on the show? Probably the next show is going to be part two of this. Because uh, there is no show tomorrow. <laughs> uh, just because. No show tomorrow. Um... So we haven't scheduled part two of the Jaguar, where we're going to be doing the first half of 1995, because that's where most of the games come oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah. 23 games we're going to be playing, so a couple more than today. A couple more. So that might be Saturday night or Sunday night. One of those two, I think. But we'll let you guys know. We'll put on social media and stuff. And if you haven't followed the channel, it'll alert you if you follow the channel as well. Um, so probably the next proper day will be next Tuesday. We'll be playing 
um, a regular show. This is the After Dark. And then we'll be doing the third part of Atari's Jaguar's 30th anniversary classic gaming countdown. And doing uh, that last half of 1995 to 1998 and finishing all the games. Then we can get a good overview of all the releases. So far, it's actually been pretty good. If I was a person who bought a Jaguar um, in late 1994 and picked the right games, like demoed them in the store or something, um, it would be like, oh, these are pretty good games. Um, and we have Atari Age Day coming up very soon. I would say within a week and a half to two and a half weeks. It's going to be on a Saturday where we unbox all the new Atari Age games, talk to all the developers. That's going to be on a Saturday. It's going to be eight hours. It's going to be a long show, but we're going to be playing all the games. Boom, boom, boom in a row, 20 minutes each. Unboxing them, checking out the contents, popping them into the systems. And then later on, we have Elevator Agent and Turbo Arcade unboxing with an interview with John Shampo talking about his new games. And uh, yeah, then we're going to be uh, playing out the rest of December and uh, doing the Atari Homebrew Holiday Special on the 19th. And then we're back for a New Year's Eve special. We're going to count down Pacific time and go through the time zones as well. Um, I don't know the time when that's going to start, but we'll, we'll definitely end it at midnight. So we might start at like 9 p.m. No, he said we're hours. going to end it at midnight. He didn't specify which midnight because there's <laughs> one real midnight. Pacific time. In, in North America, GMT. No. It's pretty much <laughs> the, Pacific Standard Time. Because it's it's kind of the last midnight. It, well, I mean, Isn't Hawaii it? gets the last one, doesn't Alaska, it? Alaska, Hawaii does, yeah. yeah. And Alaska... There might be some border. I don't know what Alaska has. I don't know if it's... Are there any border? I think they different. moved it. So that the these there's some islands because there were some islands and they moved a whole day one day they missed a whole day because they moved it at midnight I think huh. so they went they made the border like say this is the international time zone and they were on this side and they went Whoa. but we're the last they... time zone in Canada true and we don't care about the <laughs> other countries time zones only the ones <laughs> and that and that's why we're doing this today because it's thanksgiving in the u.s today <laughs> that's why we're able to do this yeah and uh and everybody in the u.s is not watching <laughs> it's only canadians and non-americans eastern time's the only real time because it has new york is that what you're saying is that what you're saying um <laughs> Anyway, uh, oh, and then we have, uh, of course, the six annual Atari Homebrew Awards. The nominee reveals on February 2nd. Um, that looks like, what is that? That's a 6 p.m.? Is that a Tuesday? I guess Tanya will be there for that. And then uh, the Atari Homebrew Awards sixth annual live presentation where we give out the awards February 24th. Darcy will be there. Aaron will be there. Tan, you'll be there, unless there's circumstances where they can't be there. <laughs> <laughs> then they won't be there. Uh, so thanks. U.S. Guam is last. Oh, I'll have to take a look. Oh, you're all good. It's on 3.50 p.m. now. Yeah, Cyrano's in Australia, so he's like, ah. he's no, in the future it, anyway. <laughs> he's in a Friday at 3.50 p.m. He's all good. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the show. Uh, I'll save the poll question for the next show. It was like, when did you get, when did you first get your Jaguar? And it was like, I don't have a Jaguar or launch day or within the release period of the games, the original games, or after that. That was the question, but I'll do that next time. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, make sure you tune in Saturday, Sunday, don't know which day for the part two of the Jaguar extravaganza. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a good Bye -bye. night. Bye.